Hey there, this is Hamdal's Watch, brought to you by Isolated City Gaming. This episode is brought to you by the $6.30 we found stuck between the couch cushions. Now, on with the show. Okay. Podcast started. Started? Nice! <laughs> right, anyway, so... I, the- don't, I, don't remember, I don't remember what happened last week at all. I like... Mischief. I, mischief. Mischief was managed. Like well. in the, the Harry Potters. Well, you... You found the table. Hey, we found the table. We found, found the, the table. table. That's very. Um, they brought the room together. <laughs> and promptly got rid of that pesky, pesky enchantment. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. You, you, go to go to stab the table. I stab the table. I stab. You vanquished the monster. Uh, yeah. Go, go to stab the table. Uh, Kaz got his hands dirty. Yep. Uh, Leland hid hid in the bush. He used spells. He, I, he used some very useful spells. Yes. We also hid in a bush. Mm. We cleverly disguised as a person stuck in a bush. He also came out of the closet. Yeah. Ruffle. That's, that's a gay joke. <laughs> <laughs> How many minutes was that? Two? Two minutes in? Yeah, about thereabouts. So Excellent. I'm having a look at it because it's like, yeah, I'll probably edit that out. <laughs> um, and Just quietly mark it down the thing. Two minutes edit. <laughs> well, the previous pro- stuff where I had, I could just like what, tap and put a bookmark. <laughs> we call them whoopsies. <laughs> you did. I didn't. <laughs> I had my own word for it, and it wasn't whoopsie. That's a cute name for this podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, and then you guys uh, basically escaped out through the uh, the 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 back gardens uh, through like the. Well, over over the top of oh, an overgrown right. labyrinth, and as we all yeah. like natural twenties and just like whoo, breezed away in the magic. Yeah, carpet. the number of natural twenties cool. that were rolled in that last session that was, was pretty cool, unnatural. Yeah. Uh, now get ready for a season ones and critical fails and <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Tips. You guys are floating on the clouds. Right, we need to fight something. It's been like fifty years. Yeah, let's go kill some things. Let's go find some wolves. <clears throat> let's turn around and fight everyone in that manner. It was pretty easy. Sure. And okay. we just um, got out of there. Yeah, but we're gonna go there like in style this time, though. Let's just take like we'll just swing the the car around the gladiator pits, and we'll enroll Goiter as a uh, as a new fighter. Get some, make some money. Okay, I'm more involved with this. Yeah. Same to be honest. Five quattros on the newcomer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. What are you guys doing? Or what? That was an interesting day. Now, what's... Oh, wow. So no, we had a big testing. day with the orators through the day, and then, there, then we, we went, went on to Jackson like House. 10, and... 30, 11 o'clock was kind of like the plan, like in yeah. the morning. Yeah, so I think all up is probably mid-afternoon at this point. Oh my god, this is the longest day. It's been two episodes already. Oh, there's been longer days. <laughs> there's been an entire session that took three weeks. <laughs> so right the <laughs> colonel yeah so i just i want to just unpack we're, we're flying on the carpet outside of away from prying ears is an evil blue candle wizard yeah i mean did we we definitively linked into the blue candles that's what well we have to find out what hannah's blank letters say oh yeah but Get it looked like what did you see on his table because i couldn't see the table just a bunch of financial accounting books where he was in deep, deep financial stress. And all of a sudden, isn't anymore. It's normally pretty dodgy. And then the table seemed to correspond pretty well to the... Uh, to the portals. To the known portals. To the, to the room portals. I remember a few of those. Alright, so... Okay, so we're going to have an episode of financial auditing. To the auditors. <laughs> so, I, I You're literally this, right? died inside of boredom. <laughs> We have to go through the books. We have to check the books. Oh my fucking Christ. Natural 20. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not joking. It actually is. You wasted a natural 20 on a dumb thing. (laughs) That's one one less natural 20 in that that purple dice. You did this. I did do it. But now I've got a CPA. (laughs) Well, yep. Yep, you, as a fallback what, career after being a murderous assassin, I guess, you can always retire into accountancy. Right, well, white collar criminals and counters, we all know, so that's where the money is. 
So, I mean, it's like a natural progression, really. So what we found out is in our highly unauthorized snooping around the mansion, uh, highly unauthorized. I would say, I would say, specifically warded against. Yep. So we, we were invited we're, by a friend. Cool, but it, we have it, a certain amount of independence in our investigations, and cool. But what we found in the 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 home the operation. of the most high ranking family in the city, evidence of them being involved in this plot. Now you say evidence, in which we have absolutely. You got those no, scrolls. We, we don't know what they say. But we don't know what they say yet. Um, so, do we go with this to Hroth guy? I think would be... First, we should know what the scrolls say. Because we've got less these bits of paper say, I wish to join the evil... Cult. Hey, Blue Candle, that's, Kendall, that's okay. some cool stuff we did. Okay. okay. Forget something, yeah. But we also have, like, like, like the people that can scry on things. We could... We could get like you, like me, or like, like somebody who people would trust, like like Bran, and we could just say, "Hey, they're doing bad things." Like peek in well, their brains or actually, some shit. Sorry, I forgot. Like as trustworthy as all three of us are, for some reason, I don't like the tone with which you say that. <laughs> the the, the reason, setup is suspicious. <laughs> for some reason, it's very difficult for people in authority to you know take us on our word. I don't understand it either. It's it's probably a racial thing. However, I point to my little friend over there. People probably listen to him. He saw everything we saw as well. Oh yeah. We turn to Kez. Kez is here. What do you think we should do, Kez? Well, what, what? What? What have you actually got? What? I mean, you saw what happened. Yeah. What That's are, it. That's what we got. Also, these blank pieces of paper. <laughs> Which also, may or may not have magical writing on them. Neither Kez or I could see what was on the table, so we don't know what was going on there. Because we're short. I've got the financial, do have the financial things. Kez, did you see what was on the table? I saw it light up. There was a bunch of like markings I could see, so like over the top of the surface. But what was that? I pushed Kez off the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Surprise! <laughs> 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 How high off the ground are you? You're on the fucking natural 20. Oh, I'm not saying. It's a strength check. Are you, are you no, doing I'm not. Because I was going to roll. And if I roll the natural 20, you're going off instead. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'm down with this. <laughs> I'll take those odds. I like the idea of this, like, actually very fatal fight. Just being like, you being a dick and him repuls- impulsively being a dick back. Yeah, the system works. Um... So, first thing we have to do is work out how to read the letters. Yeah. Okay. I'm just... Look, look. We found evidence... We, 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 we found implications of somebody being, like, in league with the bad... Somebody very high-ranking in the city being in league with the, the badness. So... Sh- sh- we, I mean, I'm, I'm... It just seems like we should tell Roth guy about this. We've also got... I mean, it's going to be in your reports, I'm guessing. Elucidating exactly what we did, because that's what you do. You're a big dobber. Kez. Kez also, the dobber. Also, Brown's dobber, who wears on everything. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> also, there's Brant. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. We of also have... Of course, uh, the, 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 what happened today will be reported upon. That is my job, and you know that... You'd also Going be a dobber. We, yes, we know. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like, okay, we don't, we don't tell Brent what we found, and then Brent's gonna read Kez's uh, like thing and be like, "Yo, loose cannon, hand in your your gun and badge and shit." You know, there's probably a fourth option on that. Was probably gonna involve your head removed from the rest of your body. Hey, push Kez off the carpet. <laughs> that wasn't Kez. Spoken. I realize the voices <laughs> are very similar between. <laughs> Between Ryan and Kez. You know how scrying works. If Brant scries on you, will he see what was on the table? No, because scrying is as it's happening. Mm-hmm. Not- yeah, Brant's doing something else. 
Oh, you, oh yeah. He looks back. Oh, yeah. Hmm. If he looks back on you, will you? Does it say in your book? Hey, I can't do what Brant does. He's he's got you a magic. You can do anything you he, put your mind to. You're a he, powerful wizard. He's got he's got he's got, he does, he's he's doing something else. I don't know what he's doing. Well, we also I got a bunch of the bank documents. I know his bank accounts and stuff like that. Like I know I just joked about the whole thingy, but I could literally forge a letter and go there and say he's being audited and get a bunch of stuff and more information where the money's coming from. I can look like yeah, him but while it we depends do it. if you get the real books or not. Yeah, well, we could just got, we could literally just... got his seal. We got two of them. No, we yeah, drop one, one of them. Oh, that's right. Got one of his seals. We can literally forge like we could empty out his bank accounts. Well, that was definitely something I was going to do. Yes. Because <clears throat> like no, uh, for, for you are a police. Yes, for no, season. no, no. We 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 uh, like bring the all the gold from his bank accounts into evidence locker. Yeah, it's, the, st- it's evidence. The state seizing goods. Kes, settle down. Civil forfeiture is fine. That's allowed. I don't think it's for us to seize goods. That might be more a Hrothgar decision. Well, we're not bringing Hrothgar into this. We have to use our own judgment. Judgment? You... Okay, I'm going to throw a couple of little... Just a couple of little wrenches in this in the in these in these works. That you're cool. Not We're going in a brainstorming with. session. There's no such thing as bad ideas, although there are such thing as ideas that will get you pushed off the carpet. So be careful. Noted. <laughs> Let's get the first butcher's paper. Of, first out. of which is my role is to report back to Captain Frotha. Yeah. And these are the pauses for a moment. Just watches the three of you, making sure no one's making moves to. <laughs> Push him off the carpet. <laughs> this is a great place to have this discussion. <laughs> I make a second, second move for no reason. I'm not just pushing like... anyone off any carpet. Uh, and you just see him like visibly grip the, uh, Sorry, just, the, just the, the, the carpet. Uh, calisthenics. It's important wizards. to remain we limber all know how to fly. Carpet. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, secondly, I'll point out that Captain Rotha and the Colonel are friends. Which is a complicating factor. <gasps> Is he saying Captain Roth was also involved in this? I think that's what he's saying. This goes no, right to the I'm top. Not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that <laughs> it's a his opinion may be influenced by the fact that his lifelong friend unless it's bu- is unless being we give accused. him bulletproof. Yeah. Bulletproof information. All right, here's what I propose. We set up the colonel. Done. No. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, he's He's guilty. We already know that he's involved. We like. We him. just need to draw. We need to arrange a situation where we draw him out, and he exposes his already existing guilt. This isn't like a. This isn't like a regular stitch like, up. This is like a like a like a proper stitch some up. Some sort of like. I, I know entrapment. the other way for this is entrapment. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, totally, no, 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 right. no. I want to be very clear. It's not entrapment. It's a sting. It's a trap. It's a sting. Which he will be in. Stings are allowed. This is true. Alternatively, we go to Brant first and have him look at what we saw today. And maybe he knows someone in the temple who can work out the letters. Because it's an investigative temple and I'm they I'm assuming it's all magical stuff, things. so Brant should be able to look at the magic. We have a letters. temple full of magic identifying people. It's... Let's do that first. Plus, Brant's thought. very powerful. I want to see what's on these letters. And possibly Odin. Sorry, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> so can, we'll take the letters to... How can to... someone be possibly Odin? So we'll take the letters to... <laughs> no, 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 no. That's like, that's like a binary state thing. You can't be a little bit Odin. I don't know. Who knows how it works? But you can be a little bit rock and roll. So if we go to and Brant... And a little bit country. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we go to Brant... He might even give you a coin. You did some work today. He's not going to give me a fucking coin. I mean, how long has it been since he's given you a coin? It's been so long! Exactly! You did it's a lot of good so work today! It's been so long since I got a coin. You investigated two cases today. No, 
It's going to be all like, how many cases did you close, Leland? And I'm going to be like, none. Coins are for closes. <laughs> Coins are for closes, Leland. And I'd be like, I closed plenty of things. And he'd be like, well, you didn't close any of these cases. And I'd be like, yeah, well, you can't see out of one of your eyes. And he'll be like, that's not very nice, Leland. And I'll be like, no, it's not. I'm sorry. And then he'll be all like, Apparently he's Odin or something. That's pretty weird. <laughs> and bring, bringing his one-man show to Broadway is Leland. <laughs> um, I can I? How would we? What's the deal with the scrolls that you got? I don't know. I just saw him. All right, we should play around with. We should find out. We should play around with the scrolls as well. Roll dice to see if we can decipher what they do. All right, you handing one over? I mean, it probably isn't a good idea to do it. I was going to the magic carpet was. Yeah, whoops! Oh! Hi! Well, I hope that was the important one. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys got wise to my little, my, my little, my japes and plans. Well, there. It's, uh, <laughs> Jokes and japes. It'd be a series of natural 20s where, like, the breeze wipes with the magic leak and, like, perfectly clear. Jokes and Some you. sort of I magic do, breeze. I can do mate hand. Got him. Yep. Yeah. So maybe we should land. Let's go back to the temple of um, Heimdall. Let's go back. <laughs> back home? What? Home. Home. Let's home. go back to the temple of Line. Line. <laughs> Bringing his one man show, one man show to off Broadway. <laughs> maybe we'll park the carpet a couple of blocks away and make the way on foot. Why? In Why? case anyone saw the carpet. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? When we fled the scene, we were on the carpet. That's okay, but at this stage we've actually changed carpet four times. Oh, okay. It's like, so. it's like Grand Theft Auto as well, like going to like a carpet place, like change We carpet actually called ahead and had them set just, a couple just of just flew, in, flew into a garage and came yeah. out a different colour yeah. yeah. color, color carpet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then that's fine. To the temple. <laughs> Who's going to believe that we busted into uh, the Colonel's, the, the Jalson well, Manor? Um, now that you say that, we're respectable in the report. police officers. Actually, for some reason, now that you say that, like that let's just... Yeah, let's, let's just, just go underground it. and never it's, be seen yeah, again because <laughs> we're going to go back to the Temple of Heimdall and he's going to be all like you broke me and we're going to be like I'm sorry Horace guy I didn't mean I don't it. recall us saying I'm sorry like now or in the future also we were invited this is a alright I, I feel like the subtlety we just, of that we is going to get visiting, lost in we were just visiting a good friend and we left for lunch whatever happened but after that who knows I mean Brandness. It's a very big house. There are a lot of rooms yeah, and but... lots of doors. It gets very confusing. All right, let's go back to the. <laughs> it's, 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 it's really double this before, so it's, it gets weird, isn't it? Maybe. Why? Why? Why hasn't he? I mean, all the murders we've done. Oh, I guess he's a powerful the... wizard. <laughs> oh, they we love to laugh. Of course, of <laughs> tap him on the back. It's okay if it's self-defense in the course of duty. So, so Kez, are you gonna are you gonna be fucking cool about about this whole Yelson Manor situation? Because technically, you broke in there as well. So we didn't break in; we were invited. <laughs> now, on that line, he's right. If I'm um, at the North guys, I've met this guy. If you write a report right now, yeah, that's gonna be jeopardize the investigation. Well. Jeopardize a lot. I don't remember you saying, "Hey, maybe we shouldn't do this highly illegal thing that we're doing." We were invited. Roll persuasion. Oh, no. You get advantage because of this one. Okay. Oh, good thing I'm so good at persuasion. Sure I'm pretty good at persuasion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but on the one he, he, <laughs> he was very much the one leading that conversation. Right. Okay, eighteen. How, how many twenties? <laughs> <laughs> Just three. Just three. Uh, eighteen. He sort of pauses for a moment. He's like, I can. I can hold off on filing this report. We can meet with Brant first and you see what he... You don't have to hold up following the report. You could just... Hold back the important information until later. Unfortunately, that's not going to be part of this. That's not a negotiable no, part no, of this. No, 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 no. No, listen, You will eventually listen. pull full thing in there. I'm not... L- listen, you can, you can, like, file the report and say about how we visited the Yalston Manor at the direction of ex-honorary officer... Hollister, they and then talk for an like hour. the the, de- the 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 details of 
the the second half of of that is is will be contained in appendix e of your report and that can just get lost in the filing cabinet for a you know, an extended period of time, or just not ever exist at all. You know, that's not leaving. It's not leaving something out. It's just oh, bureaucracy. Who knew? Or when you do a final report, that's when you just do everything. Then yeah. C subsection C, part twelve, appendix E. You can literally go to go say these people are fucking insane. I have no idea what they're doing yet. Let me see how this whole thing writes up so I can land it all together. And if I was like, yeah, fair enough. Did they do anything illegal today? That's what I was... That's what I was or saying. you can fall off a magic carpet. That works too. Are you threatening me? I think we've done that multiple times this magic carpet ride already. No! Roll inside? <laughs> Cox? <laughs> even, even a one. Yes. <laughs> The report will be filed, but I will delay it. So we're all on the same page here. Everything's going to be fine. Cool. Cool, cool. I understand that this is a sensitive issue. But my job is my job. It will be done. It so will be Brent. done. So on to Brant. Come That's- accent or... Accidental death or injury, it will still be done. Let's go. I just roll my eyes. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm picturing like the flight back. It's like playing corners where you're jostling each other. Just oh, oh, oops, oops. Oh, I almost, almost fell off there. Oops. Ha, I'm just fucking with you. Can you give me a persuasion? Uh, not persuasion. Perception check. Uh-oh. Since these three have been chatting away, you have been looking around. Nine. Nine. You are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, 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 you two and, and Kez are doing your whole negotiation of plans. Are you sure you don't want my passive perception? Oh, yeah. Because okay, that that's 20. <laughs> so, so it's seven. Damn, son. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying yes before I told you what it was. <laughs> Got him. Yep. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking around at sort of the, the city Da-da-da. below. Um, you're, you're actually sort of at a reasonable height where you get a pretty good view of of the city underneath you. Six feet high. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like four of you, though. It's pretty high. It's amazing. <laughs> so fucking high. It's um, what I think. All those people look like ants. You, <laughs> yes, that actually, is... Actually, come to, come <laughs> to a few people. <laughs> Okay. What do you think an ant looks like? <laughs> you know, six feet. Mandibles. Legs, arms. Okay. <laughs> Carrying ten times its weight over its head. <laughs> What's going on down there? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out the, the thing's just hovering like two feet over the top of an ant mound. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking high. like like Tyranid invasion, but whatever. <laughs> um... You glance off at, in towards the the ocean. Oh yeah, the, where all the, the weird stuff's coming from. And you've not really been this sort of height over the city. Like you, every other time you've been flying over the city, you've actually kept like a pretty low, low line. Yes. Um, but you look out and you can sort of see like the bay, the the harbour, and the bay, and then beyond that, you can sort of see the 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 point of a peninsula coming around, which Crates of bay, mm-hmm. um, but beyond that you see the the ocean proper. What you see within the water is it looks like it looks like a storm front coming, like yeah, like dark clouds and so that. forth. But within the water, it looks like a like a swirling <laughs> mass of looks like darker, like like a deep navy blue down to a dark greys, just sort of like. Rolling and 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 surging along with the tide. That's concerning. Yes, you're a powerful. Wi- oh wait, no, you know nature and hippie shit. Why is the water so weird? It's weird. I mean, he has a point. Yep, that part could be particularly wet. 
Uh, I heard I heard you cut off the powerful wizard line as well. And I don't then I realized we had the nature hippie. <laughs> it's a question about water. I don't know if it's magical. But you also know her. Far out, dude. Four more years. No, she does a lot of my work for me. It's, you know. <laughs> I do like the cut off halfway through the power wizard. You know? <laughs> that was, that was um, <laughs> savage. <laughs> I will do a nature check. Yeah. Does God's work for nature checks? Sure do. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's like if checks and guidance. Checks and Rex. A 20. Didn't roll a 20. I got 20. That's including all your bonuses. Uh, yeah, so 13 plus 3. And I'm going to get plus 4 to nature. I don't think I've got anything else from like being a draw or anything like that, as far as I'm aware. But that's the whole reason I asked you. Yeah, well... <laughs> that, that's your, that's your fault. Thank you for choosing the, the, the Goiter archives. <laughs> you have many choices of archives, and you've made the wrong one. <laughs> Why will you not let me typecast you? Make it till you make it, baby. Uh, yeah, you're looking at that as like that is. Well, you've spent now probably combined th- five days on the big blue wet thing. Yes, maybe six. Something like that. We have sailed an adventure on that big blue wet thing. One of those trips was through the air. I don't think he's Good counting that point. one. You're right. Roll for advantage. <laughs> uh, this sort of darkness again. It sort of looks like looks like a, an approaching storm front. It is. It's. It is dark. It is ominous. It is almost moving unnaturally. Unnaturally, within the within the tides, like it's almost like tendrils reach out and then sort of pull back in to the to the larger mass. But it is, yeah. Well, that's a slightly unnatural moving storm front. It's within the water. It's not not the cloud formation either. So it's underwater. Well, that's very uh, well. Well, well, in that case, then it's perfectly normal. It happens oh, okay. all the time. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. I okay. jump off the magic carpet and run. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Bye. You know the water's down that way, right? I, st- I got that um, mariner's oh, arm. Yeah. I'm fine. You're not over the water currently, but you're a decent height above the city. Mariner's arm doesn't work on rooftops. <laughs> it's from like, from a good a good couple hundred feet. The streets are like the oceans of humanity. We so just we just spent a good twenty minutes threatening to push somebody off this magic carpet, and you're jumping now. Cool. Yeah, I can take the damage. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just roll when you land. Duck, duck and cut, yeah. <laughs> duck and roll. Yeah, I'll pass the back saying, eh, probably not good. It's a good understatement. Love it. Love it. Probably something to worry about. Brent can scry on that as well. He's just throwing all the, all the scrying. Everything at Brent. He's like, found an NPC is useful. Go! Here's a problem solver. Can't someone else do it? That's what I've always said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, didn't you say there was like a whole thing about was... The hammerheads fighting ocean Yeah, those are reports of weird stuff coming from the sea. and Yeah, that was weeks ago, though. It's been ongoing. That is a thing, yeah. Sea stuff. I mean, it was two days for us. I know, but that's why I'm not asking you. Oh, okay. Because it was... Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Narrator's voice. Yes. <laughs> cool, guys. Cool. I mean, it, like, like no, it, it, been, it, it was something. Been repeated it, issues with stuff coming from the sea. Yeah. No, I mean, okay, it was also something you guys heard in the um yeah. the bar before yeah, you yeah. went to the Fey Realm in the tab. Rich I was more like, I was more inquiring because we've been away for a little while. And like, with um, it's just, it could, could old mate's funeral. People thought some weird should happen too when his body went out. To One person thought weird should happen. They also no, invited like, you into their house. Yeah, and then you we don't totally haven't gone to yet. Weird. <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, could 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 is this like a raise raise the alarm sort of thing? Like it's probably something worth <clears throat> noting. Like like ring bells and say some something's coming. There's a there's a there's a there's a there's a high pressure system on the on the coast. Get out the sharpie. Or Get out. Let's make a map. Make a map. Exactly. Ex- exactly. Watch I out, can... Alabama. It's coming. That's what I'm. Re- <laughs> that, that's what I'm getting at. I get, look, I'm more than happy to raise love almost 
everything because it's good fun. Yeah, and we can we can ring bells. Absolutely. We can ring bells. But I'm also more druid adjacent, so maybe they might want to send someone else to have a look see. Well, maybe we should but go we should to talk about it. Um, Thor's and tell them. I'm sick and tired of doing things. <laughs> Well, get you want to roll asleep? What? Why can't the city look after itself? <laughs> if you complain one more time, I'm going to turn this carpet around. Sweet, I'm going to go that, straight into the Elson Manor. <laughs> Back to Winnipeg. <laughs> and we're going into the ocean. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm just going to look. I'm just going to fly off. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. We we all know how to fly. Anyway, it's fine. Let's get to. Omdell and do some things. Mm, Thor first. Weird ocean stuff. Then Heimdall. Sure. Okay. Is there like a coast guard? Can we like like ring bells and say? Isn't that vast? Nice? I mean, I can set up some thunderclaps. Do that. I don't. They're just gonna look up at us, not out at the ocean. Let's go. Yeah, the, I'm, I'm sure the the, the, the Thor loyalists are gonna really react strongly let's, to a um to the sound of thunder coming. Let's go to navy headquarters then. Is like is it like bells? Is it like in 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 you know in you know you know in in the Game of Thrones how there was like the bells and they rang the bells when there was trouble. Yes. Is there that? Is there that's, a thing a, like that? That is a thing in in these sorts of cities all over. Like, Let's do that. I want to go ring bells for to raise alarm for a thing that we don't actually know is bad, but I, I feel like doing it. Cause... Go to my bag and I give him like one of those little bells and go. I fly to Thor's temple. Thor's temple. I'm ringing a bell. <laughs> this is actually just his keys. Oh, sorry, her keys. We will inform them that we were flying high above the city and we noticed... We'll describe the weird... Alright, I can minor illusion the sound though. of a bell. I'm doing that. <laughs> okay. Bing bong. Bing bong. Hello. Thank you. My name is Elder Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. It's so good. good. Okay. So you... Bing bong! Uh, spooky Mormon hell dream. Spooky Mormon hell dream. Spooky Mormon hell dream. I, I'm done. Okay. I, yes. I, I, Thor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so yeah, right afraid to continue talking. You land at the, the, the front of the uh, Thor church, which... I, I think I just tried to... Dead. Hooray! <laughs> Shouldn't have done that right next to the microphone. Um, no, you, you sort of land towards the front, and I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. I described this as a very military bunkerish sort of yes. building, except except for the adornment in- of many statues of Thor. Interesting. Um, Interesting motif for the Thor temple. I get it. The guy. Has I get a, what the guy has for. a purpose, but he also has a theme, and that theme is Thor. me. <laughs> It's a bold choice. I like it. Um, In a way, I understand it. Well, I'm not sure I would say I understand it. Uh, what's your guys' approach? What's your? You've landed. What direct? I assume there are guards at the gate. Yes. Bing bong. That we can just tell. <laughs> uh, Ryan will we'll do this as subtly and nuanced as we do everything. That's why I'm asking what you're doing. So we're going to go to the guards what? at the gate, explain that we're from Heimdall's Watch, show them the bad things, and then explain that we were flying above the city and we noticed this thing in the ocean like heading towards super the Super chatty for a mute. You know that, right? Also, we'll roll Because I'm trying to get ahead of both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here long enough. <laughs> Dumb your shit. <laughs> yeah, all that is We fair. are not fighting Thor's church. Well, not this time. You, not again. You use basically stream of consciousness that this, uh, this guy is like, you here for a fight? <laughs> no. What are you looking at? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Ineptitude. You're saying the, 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 the darkness is getting closer? Yes. yes. The dark- There's a lot of it in the ocean closer. heading towards the city. Where, how far had it gotten? Um, I will and explain roughly it's, how far it um, it's gotten. sort of this side of the peninsula. It's within, this side of the within, peninsula, within the, um, within the bay. bay now. It's weird. Um, <laughs> Advancing at speed, it's going faster than the tide. Well, it's going okay, not fast, not necessarily faster than the tide, but it doesn't weirdly out of sync with the tide. With, it doesn't move with the tide. It's sort of yeah, at its own pace. Yeah, leisurely, strolling. It's bad. Listing li- slightly to the left. I'm sure everything is fine though. Uh, 
But, you know, one sort of really looks over the other one and just sort of like then, then they give him a nod and the and, one, and the first guy that the sort of you, that you've mm-hmm. been talking at, I wouldn't say two because he's not being the the biggest conversationist. Um, he sort of like right, follow me. Oh, I've got to do something again. And sort of just like escorts you through the corridors. Okay. Um, hey, I've been here before. You have past the recruitment stand. Oh, the like... recruitment. Stuff to do, but okay, come on. When have I been here before? <laughs> You've been here a couple of times. So familiar. <laughs> I can find the episode numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, DJ Fu, it happens. It just seems so familiar. When have I been in the temple? No, we've before? never been here. Crazy. <laughs> you dress as Leland as well, aren't you? Huh? You're dressed as Leland as well, aren't you? Always. Actually, weirdly, he's dressed as a Thor captain person from the Hammerheads. That's when I've never been here before. <laughs> I've never <laughs> been here before. Anyway, yeah. where... Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> <laughs> you have, though, because you were where you came to do the test run of the genie. Of course, the genie thing and no other time. I that's the time of this. That's the only time you've been here? The only time I've been here was the genie thing and no other time. <laughs> <laughs> now you see why I had to be the one doing the talking. Let's go. Oh boy, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he escorts you up to this, this set of double doors and then just sort of like pushes them open and it opens up into a best description would be like a sparring uh, cool. area amazing security you've got in this temple it's just i i'm i'm in awe of the lack of people just wandering around here like uh, without authorization or detection or anything like that it's cool it's cool well, if, you, I'm, if I'm, you want to come into and what cause trouble within a a barracks that'd be to, ridiculous wouldn't that it that would that would that would be a bad plan. It'd be like, who would do that? You'd who would to, do that? You'd have to be an idiot, an inept wizard, like insane. You'd have to be all those things to even attempt to do something like that. Just saying. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Morally bankrupt. <laughs> As you're walking out the- <laughs> um, Some kind of convict. Forced into police labor, maybe investigate. There is a <laughs> hulking dude um, in the in this here, it's a running um, training with a, a group of new recruits. Yeah, um, he's basically like no shirt on, like just fucking muscles on muscles. Like, All right, on. settle down, Chad. Damn. <laughs> um. Leland came out of the closet last week. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan Pratt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here at Home Does Watch, we have something for everyone. <laughs> if this is your thing, sorry. <laughs> sorry to ruin it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie, I believe. <laughs> Um, we we have fun here. <laughs> no, I don't. This guy basically like just uh, like shield shield up front, just like slams mm-hmm. the the recruit that's basically trying to spar up against him, and just like knocks yeah. him down into the into the sand that they're sparring with, him. and then it's so, like drops the shield down and like walks over like arms crossed and like and beeps slightly, Bing Bong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're all good. <laughs> um, and like, what's going on? What's I reiterate everything I told the first guard. Holy shit, you got a lot of words for a little guy. Uh, <laughs> he's very excitable. I think they all sort of stored up inside him while he was a mute, and now they just come like, like a. You're saying this one was a mute? Weird, right? To be honest, I can't. You are making up for lost time. I think. He, I, I think really he can't got, recall. To be honest, I think he got. I ignore most people. <laughs> it's like a bad, bad case of constipation when it finally goes. Oh boy. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Not getting an argument. Um, but it's like we've got rotating platoons okay. along the shore front, like fancy. Just FYI, 
you know. Just, you know, uh, rotating through and fighting off Whatever all comes. sorts of weirdness that's just pouring out you of the just waters. Just multiple platoons. So there's something more. But you're coming. saying it's getting closer? Yeah. Big dark thing under the water. I should know I'm a druid. <laughs> Looks like a storm front, kind of, but underwater. You're a druid? Thunderheads. Crazy. They let anyone in these days. I had no idea. And it's clearly you were separate Druish. from the water because it's not moving with the tide. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting all that. <coughs> um, <Fine>. I'm going. <coughs> I'm honestly. Ryan missed it. <laughs> at a loss. Maybe just fortify just in case. It might Look, be nothing. It might be a horrifying doom that will... Be us all. Sorry. God willing. <laughs> yeah. If you guys have the time at any point, if you can meet with the oh. the, four, the front line and at least, in, you know, if you've got anything to offer, I will, we'll take it. Do you have I more give people myself to a piece. send to the... <laughs> Sorry? Are there more soldiers to send to the... Uh, like I said, we're, we're rotating through the the the, uh, the garrison forces. Yeah. So you want us to go there and tell? So the reinforcements are four guys. Four. Places. Oh no, I'm not saying you guys will replace the the front lines, but more of a no, the reinforcement. We are the reinforcements. Okay. Mm-hmm. But. Ooh. You know. The, these guys are there to protect the city, but if you guys have some insight into what's causing it in the first place... Oh, I have no idea. I just saw something on the water. This was a right. professional courtesy of, we saw something coming maybe, our way. Maybe it's a giant serpent. I oh, remember that dragon turtle. Like as big as the world. That would be a You're problem. you try and make me pronounce the world serpent's name because I always cock it up. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Got him. <laughs> okay, everyone, back on the carpet. Got another stop before we get home. I have a... Just just quickly. Um, we've been doing stuff all day, and I feel like if we're going to go and fight like an invasion from the sea, then it's a good thing we have our powerful wizard friend with us. I want to. Oh. I need to. I need to sit down for a little bit. Okay, let's get you a cup of tea. Let's you go. go get a cup of tea. I need we'll... look like I, like look. I'm, I'm just saying that. Hey, look. If if we've got time for a rest, yes. like maybe just even just yes. a short one. Hey, if if shirtless... that was a thing okay. that was mechanically okay. like viable for we... us to do, if shirtless McMuscles. Isn't that concern? Then surely we could take a oh, nice long rest. We have to I may check not him. have gotten the tone, but okay. he is very concerned yes. about it. Well, yes. he's sending us, so does he can't he, be that concerned. I'm does, he, back. does he furrow his brow in, in a cute way? I'm liking this Leland Flex. I'm going with it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, he's so, oh, he's so concerned. This is not going to become another um, tad. Okay. <laughs> from what I, serious question. From what I saw, like how... Taking a best, like... Taking the Going best bet, past like past how past long past. would it take to reach the shoreline if it was to carry on its current way? Well, as the case is, it's not really sort of approaching at a great speed, but it, it's moving differently to a, the way the actual tide does. Yeah, like we've got to take a punt at when it, you know. Uh, judging by some of like the, the 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 protrusions that came out of it, you if the, everything of it could move at that pace, it could be at the shore within hours. Okay, but so, it didn't appear to be moving at that pace. All right, I mean, okay, um, I so which way now? And when you, it rocks we up, have, plenty of time. You shoot arrows and you punch things. I mean, what are we gonna do against something that is the size of the bay? Run. Yes. You send okay, the runner to we the should definitely go front towards line. It right we now. have to get back to the Church of Heimdall and talk to Hrothgar, and then once we sort that out, we can head towards there as well to see if we can do anything. If you I can like send this, a runner to them, like let them know. Pop it being the responsible voice of reason for me to flail pointlessly against. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> well, where to? Oh, great leader. But um, he sort of like, looked at you guys and like, and then over to the guard that escorted you and was like, get onto okay. that, will you? And the guard sort of salutes. 
turn, uh, outsourcing. Yeah, one about thing. faces and one uh, of the ten things we marches picked up. out. Yeah, I mean, like, like defending the city isn't strictly speaking our job. No, we're police officers. Yeah, yeah. it's the militaries. Yeah, but that's a discussion for once we're out of here. No, it's not. we just had the discussion. What are you it's talking not about? Our job. See, it's these jackasses' jobs, all of them, even the sexy ones. <laughs> Leading in on this one, aren't you? <laughs> Let's get back to Branton, Froth guy, and. Your, Let's go. Get you a cup of tea and then I sit down. Oh, I'd love that. You want a cookie? Oh, a jammy dodger. Okay. Cup of tea and jammy dodger. Some scones. I think we can rust up some scones. I think he needs a. I think he just. I, needs, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. We can stop for scones on the way back. Like a power a bar or something. Scones. There we go. Let's take his take his take his boots off and sort he of. He calls some scones. It's a it's a it's a wizard thing. I mean, we can just take the carpet and stop for scones on the way back to the... We got time. We're not raw playing. We got a couple of hours. From the fucking bakery. <laughs> but it's and... what James lives for. <laughs> can we just say we did that on the way back? <laughs> <laughs> like, impending doom coming from the bay. You've got those fucking, like... Massive conspiracy within the city. He's been a really and, and good boy all day. He's investigated Gordon's two checking cases. checking his watch because we spent t- uh, literally an hour on this fucking jackassery. <laughs> He's been very good today. He investigated two cases. Skip to the end. We're at Heimdall. <laughs> we can take him for a scone. Okay, it takes you an hour to get home. we we'll go back to the Heim- Heimdall's church because you stopped off for baked goods. We have a magic carpet. It took less than an hour. Well, someone insisted on fresh scones. Damn it, Coida. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's the only way to have scones. Yeah. Okay. Straight out of the oven. Now, Cornish or Devonshire style? Now, there's Devonshire. the Devonshire. discussion. You fucking monster. What's I'm happening? <laughs> <laughs> there's like three people in England right now who are either yelling at you or yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> While sitting in their various teas. Let's go. There we go, we've got the stereotypes done. Okay. Alright. You're at Heimdall's. We got the Gordon plates. Brant about everything or Cross Guy about the water. Can you do you have the ability to do magic scan anything on the scrolls right now? Or do you need your little nap? I Just... would very much like like to take a short rest before we go to the water. But I will look at I will give me give me those we'll look. Mm-hmm. Get in like one of our, our off. We got a, like a bullpen. We got like desks. Yeah. Let's go. You there. actually have desks that you'd never fucking use. <laughs> we got little name plaques and everything. Well, there. Got... <laughs> and it's like... I imagine. I imagine my desk just has like huge scuff marks where I put my feet up on it, and nothing else. Everything else is covered. It's in being dust. kicked off. <laughs> it's like the first time I've actually. We have desks. I sit down at the desk. I reflexively put my feet up on it, and I'm like, wait a second. Get back down. Like now, I'm actually like. like Clear some of the dust away. <laughs> All right, the the dust has got like a like a. It's almost like layers you can see, like because uh, okay. it was like regular dust and then like ashy dust from the um from the fires that were there before. You do the magic thing. You sort out the scones. I'll go get some tea. All right. Or how about how about we just how about we just the tea and we do this magic thing. <laughs> sure. But how about we just do the magic thing? Um, what do I do? What what do, we, what do the scrolls look like? The scrolls look like folded up pieces of paper. All right. Well, I'll unroll them and look at them. Yep. In what manner? <laughs> just like literally, just with your face. Just casually. Just. Um. I will make an arcana <coughs> check upon them. Okay. While casting guidance upon myself, I roll arcana. Fifteen. There doesn't appear to be anything magical about these scrolls. Well, that one that you're looking at. Now, on that same note, with the Arcanosaur style, using my knowledge of forgery and all that type of stuff, would I have like an inkling of what could have been? You know how these could have been written on? Uh, well, you, there are plenty of ways of doing. Yeah, no, I was saying like. Invisible ink without having like... to re- refer to the arcanes. I use detect magic. There is no magic. Okay. Uh, uh, 
any number of there's, there's quite a few different ways of doing a invisible ink essentially can for, i for, for what some... it's worth i also have forgery skills as well so true, true, true. could i do some testing like normal ways to get invisible ink to reveal itself? hold it up to like a candle or some shit okay uh throw me ideas on what you would do i've got no fucking idea how invisible ink works heat uh, the heat from a candle see if that causes the invisible ink to materialize i want to use this stone tablet just to think of some ideas. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so you've got five of these, so you essentially have five... I'm going to light it on fire. You have five scrolls. Okay. One may have been... like Some may have been used, some may not have been used. Um, so the first one, holding up to a candle? Yeah, I will hold it like near a candle so that it, it, it gets somewhat warm. Yep. Uh, roll me a... I had a thing in mind. Investigation. Can, Ooh, I, gu- right. can I guidance this? Is that yeah. a thing? Am I thinking right? It's a lemon juice thing. Yeah, lemon this is one you can do with lemon juice. I rolled a one. Hey Ryan, I rolled a one. Well, I, I guess I guess it's like you. I mean, four backups with a, with with also a four, and a, so I mean, does guidance like make that up to a five roll? Or does it not work like that? I don't think it works like that. Because it'd be 11 if, if that... But I roll a 1 on the you did roll a 1. So, you know. Okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I press the digitate to put the fire out. Yeah. Uh, essentially, you've been, like, you're holding it up. You can feel sort of the, the heat start, start come through. The paper starts to just like discolor slightly. And then it just reaches flashpoint. And there's like this, whole, this section in the middle just like lights up with uh with fire and just starts to like pull up the uh up the page did it look like it was starting to form before it caught fire uh you didn't see any sort of like letter work or anything coming out self-destructing documents these guys are fiendish <laughs> self-destructs and someone goes to investigate it yeah they're makes clever sense. that yeah. makes sense uh, what did you get from your stone tablet? Heat, mostly. <laughs> um, hmm. Just seeing if I've got anything. I know one thing you do have. I'm um, actually, uh, if it's the thing I'm looking, if you're thinking of, I'm thinking of looking at it now. I think. I have proficiency with a forgery kit. Yeah? No, I've got that too. Same sort of thing. Um, the dancing fairy fire. I was just want to see if that actually produces heat, like fairy fire or dancing lights. Uh, I would seriously doubt that whether dancing lights does. Because they're basically like fireflies essentially the very fire yeah. basically just illuminates people and things just so you can make it look like torches I was, kind of, I was looking to see if it had like some sort of like heat effect where are police stations would we have people experienced with potential invisible inks and yeah. it depends who you want to bring it into your circle what's the like yeah we've got two forgery here combined would there be like standard stuff in there to write and reveal it um I mean, Kesra. Remind me, did you grab the ink well? You didn't, because it was writing in the. Yeah, he well, with that's the, right, yeah. yeah. That's right, you grabbed the. What do you mean, know it was there until he. Yeah. Did yeah. them like, oh, and then everything went to shit. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, no. But it looked like it was yeah, it empty. It looked like it was empty. Okay. That's right, it was an empty ink well, and you're. Yeah. Yeah. Any ideas, Kes? You got, um. Sorry. Very far. Well, heat. I guess. Hey, I'm going to grab another one and investigate it. Okay. I'd like to hold a press of digitation to print it out. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. <clears throat> I lick it. So your investigation? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Y- yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Two down. It's poisoned. 
Oh. <laughs> Iocane powder. I bet my life on it. <laughs> okay. You uh, lick sort of the, um, you know, basically touch of section and do it to your tongue. You're like, mm. it tastes like burning. It, it um, tastes like a switch cartridge. <laughs> what? I just listened to that episode today as well. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, there was, there was a possible <laughs> station that made a reference like, mm, this tastes like the back of a switch cartridge. I mean, that's the thing. The switch cartridges are covered in chemicals to make them taste bad so that Japanese mm. children don't eat them. Yeah. What? <clears throat> Fair oh, I had no idea. You want to um, you you lick one of your switch cartridges? No. I, it had never been part of my uh, my, my wish list and it, it, it now remains off that list. I mean, they taste bad, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, is that what you're saying? <laughs> but no, uh, you basically touch this paper to your to your tongue, and you get this sort of sensation of like extreme sort of bitterness, and then like a, a real like t- like a tingle, almost almost burning sensation on your tongue. It tastes like home. Um, to the point where, as soon as you sort of pull the pull the uh, thing uh, the thing away from your, your your mouth, you just still sort of feel like this like warmth and. Acidic, essentially, is the, uh... Tastes acidic. It's acid. <laughs> um, while he's licking paper... But the... <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah, other... It doesn't taste like paper. Okay. Well, the other thing, what I'll do, I'll, and then, um... and then I And then I start looking at my hands. <laughs> and it's not that sort of acid. <laughs> God damn it. Um... <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> They could touch everything. Oh, I, I completely missed what I was setting up there. <laughs> <laughs> you put paper on your tongue. It tasted bad. Your little hands look big. I am the walrus. <laughs> um, with the three that he hasn't... Because we've got five? He had five. One's, yes. one's been scorched. One's been licked. With the other three, do something like... Normally, be like, reveal the, like, get a can or the heat source, like put it close and do that. And then also do something like... um. Like, like a powder, like a charcoal type powder type thing, and like lightly dusted to see if like blow it off and see if it's like a raise. You know, I'm trying to think the best way to describe. It. You know, kind of like like when you run a pencil over the top yeah. of something. Yeah. Because yeah. so if it's like written on ink like that, the, the stuff might still stick to like the ink and whatnot, and you kind of dust off with an idea something's on there. Damn poor. Right. So I'll try those two things. Okay. You. As you do that, you sort of like spread this charcoal dust uh, dust across the, across the surface, and you can see, you can see that there is something that's printed there. But it sort of you see it see it momentarily, and then the the the, the charcoal blue gray just sort of gets bleached out, and then basically fades to almost to essentially the same shade as the the paper. You know, you're on your constitution save. No. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you asked. 14. Okay, you're... Dead. <laughs> <laughs> the, was... the sensation in your mouth is like sort of beginning to spread, like the saliva is beginning to sort of like move it around your mouth. You can just, it's. This is... It's more like you know, you've you've eaten some chili when you weren't expecting it, and it's beginning to sort of like get the way around the mouth, and every part of your mouth is beginning to feel warm. You start to feel it run down the back of your throat. Um, every time you breathe out through your nose, you just feel like your nostrils start to like get this real heat to them. It's fixed paper rub. You just licked the fixed paper rub. <laughs> <laughs> My son, it's just... <sighs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Um, what are you doing, by the way, Puppet? I'm just watching. <laughs> you're watching us fuck around with pieces of paper. I don't know. No, what you're watching them is... What you watching... Yeah, what are you... Yeah. I'm watching them investigate. What you are watching is them systematically destroy the evidence. <laughs> uh, one of us is. <laughs> I mean, I put out the fire in one of them. I want to do the rest of the fires out. I wanted to do the rest of the zip line then. <laughs> it didn't work. 
Um, what does the particular sensation coursing through my mouth imply to me about this paper? Okay. I don't... Look, Ross doesn't know about Spycraft and Invisible Ink. Actual paper for a second? So I don't know what this means. Can I have a look at your cactus sheet quickly? Rather than me trying to spend the time trying to load it up as well. Bloop. Bloop. Those pens aren't... No, no. Because they're ink... Base, but I th- imagine a quill with a bit of pressure going on there. Mr. King, mm-hmm. I'm going to. Well, how do you know which side's which? Well, I'm going <laughs> The one that I saw something appear on it briefly on the other side and do like. Because it's like a quill. So I'd be like a bit of pressure there to put the stuff in there. The other side, that like the classic little pencil. Yeah, to see chuck, if you can get the impressions yeah. on the back of the page. Okay. While you're working on that, the sensation you're getting there is it tastes of like a, it, it tastes it, like it a chemical acid. Head. Like that's no, no, that's I know what you're used doing. Yeah. To, I use that to work out as, a, as a like an original document. Yep. Checking the back of the page. Um, yeah. Can I do it like that's on what you have? I was thinking of the any sort of alchemy. Fine, I've got it. Also makes sense. No, yeah, yeah. Just might be in reverse. But yeah, it smell. It, it has it has a sensation of, and you begin to get sort of the, yeah, these like an acidic smell yeah, coming. Yeah, the impression. Yeah. Well, I thought, okay, I think a quill would be a bit uh, going through. So. I'm figuring there yeah, might be somebody in working in the temple that like knows alchemy mm. shit. So I'm gonna go find <laughs> Officer McAlchemysons, <laughs> the son of the alchemist, Tinsons. Yeah. Alchemy Tinsons. Okay. Al. Al. Al for short. Al for short. Al the chemist. That's, that, is, that is that joke refined down to its purest form. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's an alchemy joke. It's gold. <laughs> it's gold is what From it is. From lead. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I was <laughs> That's the joke I was making. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You make your way to the one that you would assume would know these sorts of things. You are uh, you know, cheery so, little bottom from this world. Yeah, yeah, that's who I'm picturing right now. Fantastic! <laughs> um, <laughs> In a weird cameo. <laughs> like, what am I doing here? Oh my god! It's just bizarre. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you sort of knock knock on the door and you uh, um. And wait for a second, no response. Knock again, is like, ah, come in, come in. Uh, opening up into, essentially, like a small lab. Neat! Um, there are... Come on, uh, sort of, you know, Glass jars of various different colours, uh, coloured liquids and, and little samples of uh, all sorts of powders and tinctures and all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, there is a... Yeah, uh, uh, probably a slender dwarf. It's a weird, it's a slender for a dwarf. They're normally fairly stocky. Um, okay. Uh, a beard that has two or three fairly prominently recently burnt out sections. Nice. Uh, they're uh, they're wearing these glasses that have the whole like multiple lenses off the sides that they can sort of flick through. It's it's doing the whole lab science cliche. Do I know this person's name? Have we met before, or do they not get out of their lab? No, you would have known them. I've just got to think of a name in the meantime. Is it? Is it? No, it's. Okay. Uh, I was it's, about to ask if it was a lady dwarf, uh, but male. Because uh, dwarf the, beard the, that yeah. doesn't really answer that. question. No, that doesn't answer that question. Uh, Jimothy. <laughs> Jimothy Green Jesus. Um, fuck names. Just go with Al. Al for the, for the for the moment till I think Alphonse. Of it. Alphonse. Alphonse. I want Alphonse. Uh, sure. Al. Al Alphonse. is what it goes by. The 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 
is abbreviated from it from there is rumors abound of what it's short for there is a, there's actually a betting pool going around the office as to wh- what al is short for can i put a gold on alfonso and that's ryan's way of not of giving him a name without giving him a name my good friend albrecht nope it's close though couldn't tell you this is way too much fun yeah. <laughs> alpul stiltskin <laughs> all right you're like a um chemistry nerd i need uh help with a case that i'm working on yeah that's literally all true why are we talking like this a, look i have a i have a speech impediment i'm actually very sensitive about it why why are you why are you making me feel bad like this <laughs> alberto nope <laughs> uh, so there we go. This is going to be the biggest puzzle of the entire game. <laughs> when you actually reveal his real name, I don't know. It turns into a silver dragon. Uh, no, that no, happens no. more than you think. <laughs> so I have this piece of paper. See it? Yes. I licked it. I, I think there's something written on it in some sort of invisible ink. Right. I licked it, and it tasted like burning. Wait. And I thought. Chemicals. You, you put an unknown chemical in your mouth. So he hasn't. Made What's it. okay? And he's just like he gets up like hurriedly and sort of um, jumps up onto the table and sort of runs across it and sort of grabs you like by both cheeks, like pulls your head down, like grabs grabs you by the forehead, like opens your mouth. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! So buy like, me dinner first. And at this moment, you're like ha 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 ha. ha. And he's just sort of looking at the... the Not saying no. <laughs> um, he sort of like opens your mouth up and then sort of like look, peering in, like flicks a, flicks a lens over and then like sp- slaps your jaw back closed again. Um, oh. the, the pats you on the forehead uh, like just to sort of push you down into the seat that's, the seat that's opposite and then sort of like runs across the table, jumps off the other side, like grabs this, uh, this jar of like this is white powder... Um, pulls out a mortar and pestle and just like, like pour some in there. It's like, uh, it's like scrambling across the thing. It's like I'm, I'm trying to cut back on that stuff, man. And he grabs this as a like, pulls in, like starts grinding that up. Um, then grab, um, then pours, uh, pours his liquid in there to sort of make this pasty sort of sl- almost, almost slurry, but like paste. <laughs> While he's doing this, I'm imagining Leland's like picking up bottles off of like the the table next to him, was like shaking him around, going, "What's this?" Is it, don't touch that. Is it? Don't touch that. Okay. Um, he's, he's sort of pull, um, coming uh, coming over to you. He's got this. Um, yeah, this this th- one's all silvery. This uh, this stone <laughs> stone bowl <laughs> with this sort of you know watery clay sort of uh, consistency, and just like scoops it out. Well, scoops a handful out of it. Like just grabs the lower part of your jaw. Like opens it up. Just like slams it into your mouth. <laughs> and just like holding his hand over your mouth. Just like as a, a while while you sort of like chew is like chewing away at this essentially, and it, it tastes gritty. It's like you're literally chewing on um, mud. Um, and then after he sort of like you're, you, he sees the sensation of you like reluctantly like realizing you're probably have to swallow he's just like like grips either side of your face and like massages your throat to make sure you swallow like telepathically say to him i'm not a fucking cat (laughs) he's just like there 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 (laughs) this will make the burning stop and after he's sort of looking at you and making sure that you've actually swallowed this he's like releases his hand from across your face and is like why would you why uh, at this point now you've got this sort of (laughs) I got a I got a I got a clay mustache going on (laughs) a little bit of that it's it's more less of a mustache more of like a really poorly groomed goatee to go go with my other poorly groomed goatee (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah the, the 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 coolness of it has really sort of like sued soothe the burning but as it currently stands you can't really taste that much and your sense of smell is kind of shot as well so 
So I didn't even get to have the scones. <laughs> now this is going to taste like slightly hard muffins with no flavor. Um, I was like, all right, tell me about this paper. And he's like holding it with his gloved hand. Is like, I don't know. It it tasted burny. Um, make it be. Uh, I figured it was chemicals. So you put it in your mouth. No, I figured it was chemicals after I put it in my mouth. You went the Skyrim option on this one. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know I didn't know it was covered in chemicals until after I tasted it. That's why. <laughs> that's that's how I came to this conclusion and came to see you, my good friend, Al Zort. <laughs> this is from uh, Roll Insight. Uh, Nineteen. You see him sort of just like ever so slightly like cock an eyebrow at that one <laughs> and then just sort of like stop and it's like slight shake of the head and like what? I don't know dwarf names uh panning over to Hana's efforts with the things <laughs> you basically got the paper paper sort of or what you assume is on the on its back and it's like very, very lightly sort of brushing. So you roll me a sleight of hand on this one, because this is going to take the slightest of hands. Say no more. Can you guide and say things, Joey? It's a skill. Yes. Guide me, oh, magical forest creatures. <laughs> the squirrel's like, no! You see this poor prince across her, like, Ah, beans. Ah, beans. <laughs> oh, that's not very good at all. Is it 87? 28. 28. Okay, with the slightest of hands. With a dip to touch. Essentially, you, but it's more the point is like you rub the, um, the, the, the chuckle against your fingertips and it's just like lightly, lightly, lightly just touch your fingers over the top of the surface like ever, ever so slightly. And you start seeing like some of the indentations of some of the, the harder points of the of quill work. Um... End of the day, it's not a ballpoint pen. You don't have to press hard to make that to make sure that ball rolls. It's a quill. If you press hard, those things just fucking break. Yeah. So you're not going to get the biggest indents that you do with, like, say, like a stylus or a pencil or. Was... But uh, my my quill uh, writing experience is uh, limited to say the least. So I, I'll take I'm... your word for it, man. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> I was going to say I have actually used a quill. But then that would be walking right into. <laughs> I was on. I was already on the, on the path. I've already <laughs> set the fact up that you have used to quill multiple times. Also, what was World One like? <laughs> How was Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> um, the time what, before TV. What was it like when the the mantle of the Earth cooled into a solid mass? <laughs> Guys, I'm 37. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it hurting you so much? Why is, it, why is hurting me giving you so much enjoyment? It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you start like getting like the impressions of areas where there would have been a little bit more pressure. So some of the first first points of of riding some of the parts where it's actually sort of coming back over itself you can see there is written word on that page and you're right in thinking that the side that you're working on is the reverse side yeah but you're getting just like fragments of corners of letters little bits of the uh, other of the line it's, work i guess more identify like okay this one has something on it this, this next one on this one's got something on it yep. this point that sort of thing. uh of the three, because you've burnt one, licked one, the licked one you've taken with the with you, of the three that you've got there, the one that you started working on definitely has writing on it. Yep. The other ones could be writing, could just be imperfections in the paper. You can't really tell. It's pretty faint. One of them, definitely golden. Definitely okay. got something on there. And it's reasonable to assume that yours, your paper has definitely got something on it. Drugs. I'm guessing drugs. Poisons. Roll me because I'm safe. Saying that! I don't want to. I want to ride this high. 
Hold on, stop, lean. Stop hushing my buzz. Hold <laughs> on, lean right into this hallucination. Is Brown the only like magic, casty, wizardy guy around here that we know of? Or? And he's <clears> our <throat> usual one. Well, you're off. <clears throat> he's like the reliable Tripping the light, one. fantastic. Yeah, you're off licking <laughs> paper or something, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna why, pretend, you, why does it sound so hateful when you say it like that? I'm going to pretend this paper's a toad. <laughs> Look, I'm not... You're off licking paper or some other <laughs> dumb shit. <laughs> it's not like I'm doubting like your wizardry abilities, but... No, just, you're just doing that with every single other breath you take. Yeah, that's true. But I also haven't seen a wizard lick paper before, so you know. Like, the main thing Brant does is... That's sense. not one thing they normally do with their books. No. Well, I've seen you do lots of weird things in books. So <laughs> it's not that I'm doubting what you say. Just that you I've... and Paper have an interesting relationship and we're not sure if we're comfortable exposing these pages yes. to it. <laughs> as far as I know, you basically got something, licked it, and we're like, I have to go now. And you just left. <laughs> My people need me. <laughs> you went, I have to go now. And you just left. <laughs> needs me. Strips naked, runs through the bullpen. I'm figuring out this case. <laughs> I am the Lizard Queen! <laughs> Take this, and this, and some of these. <laughs> oh, thank you, Doctor. Oh, I'm not a doctor. Oh, no. It's normally me doing this for the life well, well beyond where... So trip to Brant. Uh, okay. So is Brant the only magic caster wizard guy? There's heaps of magics. Like heaps the, of magic guys. But the main right, thing we've right. seen him do is see things. It's like his thing. He sees things. Mm-hmm. I will go then to the local police wizard. Yep. I want to tag along to the wizard. And tag along to the wizard. All right. Back over to you briefly. Uh... He's, uh, the, the, the owl is sort of, is like, all right, describe to me, okay, on a scale of one to f- seven, ooh, yeah, okay, uh, how would you describe the intensity of the burning on your tongue? Four. Four. Okay, four of seven. Um, now... Mouthfeel, floral notes, the bouquet, like, swill it around a bit. Was there any particular sort of odour you experienced, like, um, as this, as this sensation took over in your, in, in your, in your mouth, uh, did you sort of sense any, uh, did it smell like, like lemons or urine or, uh, and you let me, you, you let me know what you think this is. I mean, urine, urine. It was urine. It was a bit urine. It's a little bit like a, ammonia. Sure. All right. He's just like scratching down like notes as he goes along. Picking grit out of my everything, everything, every part of your mouth. Ah. Uh, Right. I mean, you could lick it too. That might make this process Ooh. easier. And you... Okay, you reckon there's some sort of hidden message on there? It definitely is a hidden message on here. So that takes out one of my plans. I can't just, like, cut shreds and test. No. Tastes like secrets. Tastes like chocolate, boy. That's a song I haven't heard for a long time. I don't know what it's going to be. Sweet like saying. chocolate. Jesus. That's oh no! That's my can bag. you just can you just alchemy it? Just alchemy it. I want to, but I need. need Look to at do all this. this alchemy you got in here. Just. But what about this off. one? I grabbed like a random thing off the shelf. What about this one? Don't shake that. No, 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 no. Get gently, gently, gently. <laughs> Your office is fun. Look at all the bubbling things. Right. Um, ammonia. <laughs> he sort of wanders over to a shelf and just like, like opens up a, these things and there's, there's these little um, small glass jars with just like the, 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 the glass stoppers at the top and he, uh, he pulls pulls one up and like, opens it up and he's like, 
brings it up to come close to his face and just sort of wafts, wafts it towards him. And then puts that one down and like go, goes like, like counts three across and like grabs the next one and is like, opens that one up and is like, holding this a little bit further away from his face and just like wafts it ever so slightly. He's like, I'm like, Leland's like right over his shoulder going, what's that? <laughs> he's like, jerks suddenly from the surprise. Like, I'm trying to find the right counter agent. Because if I can neutralize the chemical that you've got there, the ink should present itself again. Because if there's a hidden message on here, there's there has to be some way of revealing it. Otherwise, what's the point? But yeah. I figured it was like alchemy or something. Yes. <laughs> I assume so. Otherwise, why would you be here? I'm picturing, like, he's, like, if he's busying himself, like, Leland's doing that, like, sitting, like, spinning around on, like, an office chair <laughs> being bored while he's doing, like, like important work. Balancing a, a pencil across the top of, the top of his lip and just, like... Uh... <laughs> it's like, hey, with all this stuff in here, do you think you could make, like, drugs or something? <laughs> he sort of peers over and makes sure the door's closed. <laughs> And looks back at you and is like, "Why?" I'm just curious. I like. I know some guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try. To, I was, I'm not gonna do it. But I had a lot of fucking lines from Breaking Bad going through my head at that point. Like, I'm the one who knocks and all <laughs> that. <laughs> start start going by the name of Heisenberg and. Just like, Missed opportunity to name this dwarf Walter. Yes. There's an AO in Walter. <gasps> There's still time. <laughs> Ali's short for Walter. That's why no one's guessed it. Because no one would ever guess that because it's not short for... Al is not short for Walter. You can't spell Walter without Al. That That's true. Got him. His name's Alter. <laughs> I knew it! Alton, Alton. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go out and put money on this. <laughs> go down to the local betting agent. And like, I'm putting, putting twenty bucks on it that his name is Alton. I was like, "What? Who? Why are you here? What? <laughs> what is any of this? <laughs> we take some really weird bets. I but... told you never to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Not after the Deadpool on Deadpool." <laughs> uh, but yeah he sort of pulls this one vial that he's got there and is like I'm just gonna and lays, it, lays the, um, the paper down in like this shallow tray and just like tips the smallest amount onto the like the top right corner and this this uh, this liquid sort of just like slowly sort of like absorbs across the page and hits the first few sort of areas where you assume there will be ink. And you see it sort of like stop spreading slightly. And then sort of move a little bit around the around the around the sort of the edge of this of this lettering. So you can outline the old it all. watercolor paint trick. Whoop. Um the the liquid that he's put on there is just like Got the height, the slightest hint of blue to it, like the lightest sort of tint of blue. So, like the page is essentially just like from the from the corner, just like spreading out with this little watercolor sort of look of blue spreading out, but it hits the edge of something and like a, like a hard edge and just sort of like spreads Walter's up around in all it. all the blue candles. Really, I've got some, some sort of weird obsession with just throwing blue into the mix sort of straight away. Um, it's like, huh? All right. Do you mind if I? Fire this up a little bit more. Yeah, go ahead. And he's just like, I've got like, what I'm imagining is I've got like a a pad and paper like ready to write down in case this shit blows up. So I'm like trying to like get it as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay. Um, he starts like you know, putting drops uh, like evenly spaced across the page, like working down from the top of the from the from the the top of the page where he, where he started and then working his way down. Um. 
as the whole as this liquid starts to sort of pool around, you get um, images of uh, you get you can start telling that where he started from is the bottom of the page. Ooh. Um, and down sort of at the, the sort of the bottom edge of the edge of the page, right in the center, there you can see the formation of it's not lettering; it's some sort of crest or image imagery. Okay. Um, and he sort of puts a couple more drops in the sort of the center of that, just so it sort of spreads out from the middle. And it's you see an image that you're familiar with now. You've seen a couple of times around the the sort of the, the horned helmet, um, the, the the sickle and battle axe. Yep. Image that you've got, and I think you've got a you got the hood from that as well. Oh yeah, the cloak. That's evidence. Got him. <laughs> Not a fashion choice. But also, yes. I don't know what it's evidence for. We just stole it. They came we it just there. stole it. Look what your accessories do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I should be saying that. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, like, as the... As this, uh, this liquid sort of pull, uh, spreads out, you can start seeing a little bit, a few more letters, letters uh, start rolling up. Uh, more words start, start coming through. Um, uh, from the bottom, it's got um, uh, just a, uh, like a sign-off thing. Uh, it's just like this signature one of um, uh, and the the because it's yeah, it's like cursive and it's a, a signature. Making it out is a little bit hard, um, but like the you can get the, the the first letter of it, which is definitely a B. Um, uh, the, then leading into like a cursive E. And then sort of like scrolls for a little bit, and then you've got T, because you can always sort of pick a T out of a out of a signature, and then it sort of like goes off towards a, like a pointed end. Beat. It's probably looking at it, you would guess it's somewhere between sort of six and ten characters, but of course it's a signature, so. Uh. So, how much of this whole thing is sort of formed? At, at the moment, you've definitely got, you've, you've got the things you can identify is a like a sign off signature, mm -hmm. um, that crest. Um, there are more. You can see it's just sort of, it's ever so slowly just sort of spreading out and and gathering. Uh, uh, as he's doing this, I'll be like, "So, is this like permanently revealed now?" I hope so. I, I can, without can, can it be taken out of this thing, or is it gonna like be all like fragile and stuff? Well, it's a little bit wet at the moment and it's still sort of like this is nice a nice flat surface that I've got it on here so it'll spread out evenly like if you try to pick it up it could just pull to one end and it could break whatever they've written in I would like to keep it still and flat okay if you want to just um just don't look at it just don't look at what's written there it's uh it's highly sensitive investigation material oh Okay, I. You, you, Highly you, sensitive. You know, I'm an officer here too, right? We yeah. have the same jobs, kind of. Yeah. I'm playing this one very close to my vest right now. Are you cool? I. Okay. And he looks at the tray and then looks up at you and is like, You've already read it all, haven't you? Like, I. It's not even revealed yet. <laughs> so I just seemed very poignant what just happened just then. <laughs> um, but I would say give this about 20 minutes, half an hour, and you should be able to make out a good portion of this. Alright, well I'll wait there with him yep. while that's going on. What was your plan? You're going to go see Brant, right? Well, whoever the wizardy type person would be. Wizardy type person. Substitute. So they'll detect <coughs> magic. Well, you, you, the one that's available. <laughs> the one, one that's, that's, one one that's, that's not licking paper. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to say hurtful words again, I will. <laughs> you're not here, you're with the alchemist. Can't hurt me. Because out of character, I was just looking at like, well, otherwise I saw like the whole painting thing. I'm like, ah, 
So I kind of had to do, like, check and see if it's magical, or I would have thought, like, a wizard would have, like, lots of ink and ink types for scrolling and stuff like that, so if you had something you could But essentially you're going to try and do the same as what yeah. was happening over there. But you don't know this. No, I don't. But I was just saying, out of character, I was looking at other ways. You go through the ink, or just to put, you know, the, the heat and the thing. One of the things I saw was the the watercolour tricks. I thought, wizard could see if it's magical, or see if it, you know, hmm. they would also have... Ink. Essentially, the way the, the way they get that one to work is you use a waxy style mm-hmm. um, ink, essentially, to to that doesn't yeah right, hopefully doesn't wax. have a, like a shine to it, so you can just fucking read it by putting a light against it, but um enough that it'll resist liquid, and yeah, you just basically brush watercolor over the top of it, and you can see it it's all written up yeah. in white. Mm-hmm. Cool. There you go. Or just get somebody to do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So heading through to Brant's. Um yeah, see you, the wizard. You get to the, the quartermaster stalls uh, stores and they have a sign at them saying away for the day. Yeah. But he's never away. Why? Church business. But this is church business. You're right, so he should be here. Yes. But he's not here. He's never not here. And it's church business. <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense. Not Jelani. Is the door to his study the area unlocked? No. Just, non, just non, checking. Not Jelani. Jelani. Can it be unlocked? <laughs> <laughs> just a reflex thing like, oh, he's not here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Story checks out. <laughs> oh. Let's go oh, find the guy. Problem. Let's go find the guy that leaks paper then. Where the fuck are your thieves' tools? What do you think this is? I'm assuming Kess is right there as well, so I'm assuming doing that probably isn't going to go down too well. He's cool. He's all, you've already corrupted I'm him. Sure well, that's true. You've already hidden the report, so you won't mind if I do this then, right? This falls <laughs> under that on the previous <laughs> hidden report. <laughs> That report's going to be a doozy. <laughs> broke, broke into a... Um, so, snuck around a, a mansion that we were not meant to sneak around sneak around or investigate, and then broke into a high-ranking officer's mm. uh, and, this, and the quarter, uh, quartermaster's Just do stores. me a favour. Just like, that morning for breakfast, just give us the nod saying the report's been submitted. Like, Excellent. We must all leave now. <laughs> Let's just find My home planet wizard. needs me. Can you just be fucking cool for two seconds, Kez? Jesus. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fine, Leland. You find Leland. Uh, you basically sitting down. It's been about yeah ten fifteen minutes at this point. Uh, you approach the, the the door for the alchemy labs mm-hmm. and sort of knock at them. Um, We're making drugs. Sweet. We can't with the, the with the knock. You basically Al just like jumps slightly. He's a jumpy good jumpy dude. Uh, but Al's fun. Settle down. Nope. Well, I don't care. <laughs> nope. All right, Jimmy Buffett. See, Al, I think Al's... I think that's the ruse. Like, it's got nothing to do with Al whatsoever. How? <laughs> Frau? Mal? <laughs> You're like Google thing, like not Hal. <laughs> yeah, but Google Home is not Hal 9000. <laughs> that way it can't try and kill me. <laughs> ah, got him. That's the fourth roll of our... Rule of robotics. <laughs> uh, the one of Asimov didn't really write that right down properly. Put the rule in. Just don't kill me, please. Don't call it hell. Come on, just be cool. <laughs> for five <laughs> seconds. Just be cool for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you be cool for five seconds? Oh, that rule. <laughs> it's it's the, the the McElroy brothers' constitution is like the uh, First Amendment is be cool. The Second Amendment is come on. The Third <laughs> Amendment is nice. I can dig it okay you yeah so you make your make your way in um, and yeah so in the middle of the table that Al is making a very very obvious effort to not look directly at um, he's cool he's, he's not going to look <gasps> at it I'm like covering his eyes I mean I assume if I he see does he can just verify it later the writing and the the stuff mm-hmm. give us more of that shh Okay. I put. It's almost th- done. <laughs> I put the other one down. 
Okay, do that to this one. We're doing it to this one. We can well, do two, I assume. Let's let's see how it works out first and yeah. see what happens. And... No, but I want to do it now. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Too late. Okay. <laughs> he like hides a basket behind his back. <laughs> Nothing. Don't put all your baskets on one egg. <laughs> also, I take quick inventory of the room I'm in. That will take a while. I said quick, like I. What looks... He doesn't like it when you touch that one or that one or really anything on that wall or anything at all. I. He didn't say anything when I picked up this one before, though. <laughs> it's like slapped out of here. Oh no! This <laughs> 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 this quick flash and a lot of smoke is like, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Your mouth tastes like burning again. That was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> so was Chernobyl. <laughs> Stop invoking Chernobyl. It's not all about Chernobyl, Ryan. <laughs> Just because you're old enough to remember when it happened. So I, you. I, love, I love turning on Ryan and him being baffled. <laughs> <laughs> jokes, 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 jokes. No, remember. fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> that's not the point, Ryan. The only one that's not is this one over here. He's the me. one that is quietly not insulting Ryan. He's writing it. <laughs> he, he's, he's writing the insults down for future. This can't be a book release of four years' time. Fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure if you play that back, back the recording, you'll find that James was just like a real shit for like the first half of this. Yep. <laughs> but then, you, you, you only realised that because he was being a shit to you. <laughs> oh, oh that was I do remember that. Let's do that again. Sorry? That was 1986. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you're like 15, I was one. Fuck off! <laughs> I don't want to play this game again. <laughs> it's funny because we're the same age. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> <laughs> why I don't understand why this game even happens. I don't know. I man. wasn't even born that decade. Alright, you can shut up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's fucking done. Fuck off. Would you would you look at that on Instagram? <laughs> Did you manage to wipe the smear of avocado toast off of your iPhone? Oh wait, no, sorry. <laughs> wipe, oh, <wipe>. thank you. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Lick. <laughs> um, I think you oh. mean smashed avocado. Whatever. That's why I don't own property. Tell it to the home you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> and Cheerio. the crippling debt you don't have. Got oh, him. Got him. Oh wait. Oh, oh no. Mm. University. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. uh, we killed the diamond industry. I hope you're happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. I love the millennials kill the headlines. Millennials <laughs> 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 like doorbells, mayonnaise. It's brilliant. Doorbells? Yes. Was that one? It's a thing. Who because was? we go Everyone to doors instead of doing the doorbell, we send someone a message saying, yeah. "I'm here." But therefore. The doorbell industry is dying. There was an industry? Oh, yeah, book. Someone had to make the doorbells. Yeah, probably people that just make other things. It's not the... Like, oh, well, back in Riot House, the lone craftsman <laughs> in the village, though. Artisanal <laughs> doorbell makers slaving away <laughs> in their sweatshops. It was Yodi Blacksmith making a little bell. <laughs> Please, sir, tomorrow's Christmas Day. Can we have the day off? The day off? <laughs> When did I become <laughs> Ebenezer fucking Scrooge? Oh, it just happened. I don't know. I love games. <laughs> you know how I said earlier that was... we, this game's actually really good for keeping on target and I don't have to edit very much that out? That was the challenge accepted, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, we fucked that. <laughs> um, you challenged us and we succeeded. Yeah, I think we did pretty well. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, about ten ten minutes or so further past, and this uh, this stuff sort of soaks a lot further further out, and you get like a scattering of words and, and almost complete sentences. Ooh. And at this point here, you it's probably the point to remove this before we remove this. I may chant it. Right. Yeah, before the uh, the ink starts to actually sort of bleed in, into the hidden ink. Because that will happen after it gets a certain saturation point. And you had a pen and paper prepared to copy it down? 
Yes. Yes. So what does it say, Ryan? Okay, the bits that you can make out are... Uh, Mama's homemade spaghetti. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> 16 <laughs> cups of salt. Dear Penthouse Forum, <laughs> I never thought it would happen to me. <laughs> Why is it done with that accent? Because he's, he's Hollister's father. father. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is only like, you know, a world of your own creation. I thought you were doing like a fucking... Ten people are alive again. A different, a different colonel. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I've been picturing him as... as Colonel, colonel Sanders. Sanders. As, 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 as Dear a, Penthouse as there, Forum. Dear Penthouse Forum. I've got herbs and spices. I found ten of them. <laughs> I just filled in one more. I said, boy, I said. <laughs> American Colonel or Japanese Dating Game Colonel? Oh. Oh, I, 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 I secretly really want to play that. <laughs> just to say I have. I've never played a, uh, a Japanese ga- dating sim, sim game but at all. It's that Colonel and the Sanders. pigeon one that I wouldn't mind playing. Uh, um, had, had a boy. Boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should play uh, Doki Doki Literature I want Club. to, but I don't have a PC. If only you worked at some sort of store that facilitated the construction of or purchasing of, of personal computers. Personal Computer Emporium. <laughs> that is not the name of the business. <laughs> and they're not a sponsor. <laughs> Would they like to be? Probably not. <laughs> Fair. Do you think any legitimate business would want to be anywhere remotely associated with this old son of a bitch's podcast? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I got unnecessarily mean really fucking quickly. <laughs> We're the same age. We're the, so We're the same age, Ryan. You can't take offense. It's not mean when you're the same age. But some offense. <laughs> offense is a big... <laughs> offense is in the room. <laughs> I'm just surprised you heard him. <laughs> offense just slapped me in the face. <laughs> this is a silly one today. It's gotten silly. No today. combat this session either, folks. <laughs> There's still time. You're right, Rolf, you should spot the alchemist. There's <laughs> a bar fight in a fucking alchemist He's lab. He's not armoured. He, he, he will be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so with most of the neighbourhood where that doesn't exist anymore. So anyway, okay. yes, letter. What does it say? Okay, going across the uh, acro- uh, uh, across from the top, you've basically got um, it's got a two line, but the name you can't make out, and that's probably intentional. Um. Terrible penmanship. Yeah, it's more the point of like, you 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 lay plans in case this stuff does up in, end up in the wrong hands. To make sure that it'll still be coded words. Yeah, and, you'll be yeah, it'll yeah, be encoded yeah. words. Yeah. Okay. Words that you can make out so far. Um, there's a, a significant space. And then part way through, uh, you got family matters. And then. Um, a lot more, uh, a couple more lines before you get, um, uh, what was the word I was looking for? Blossom. Turbulent. Turbulent. I was specifically not making that joke. (laughs) Ryan's concentrating. Uh, Okay. Um... Confess? No, no. What? <laughs> Arbitrary. Potato. If he wants to write out a confession, like, I'll take it. Uh. Uh, air, as in the air to something. Uh, removed. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I didn't get it. Was Jethro the real heir to the family? <gasps> Continue. <gasps> Was the older brother? Oh, so he was. Continue. So why did the colonel do all this shit? I don't know. Uh, uh, let's say circle enlarges. And that's about all you get. That you can actually make out for clear words. 
Well, it seems like an open and shut case. <laughs> Got him. Right, I'll he try killed his I've brother got. so he huh? could inherit something. Okay. Um, a circle, mayhaps. While we're waiting for this 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 process, mm-hmm. is it possible to take that short rest? Yeah, yeah, you can nip off and. Yeah, he's well, doing work. So. I'm bored. I'm gonna go lie down for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> he's like he's collapsed. <laughs> Night. <Nice. laughs> uh, the next one. I think one. this jokes for that. Everyone falls asleep. <laughs> Wakes up with no pets. And no owl. Not again. Um, the the second one takes about half an hour as well. Same process. Uh, this one here, again, sort of signed off with the same mm-hmm. same sort of flourish. And it's got that same sort of symbol towards the bottom. Um, Sealed with a loving kiss. Uh, it, it definitely doesn't say that. Um, <laughs> XOXO Gossip Girl. Uh, sections of this one here is uh, network esta- established uh, view from parlor because uh, you're getting a little bit more with this one The because no one liked it I more... didn't like it. We wouldn't have figured this out. <laughs> it's more the point as you've Asshole. actually you know, know <laughs> what you're looking for now. You've done yes, it once. Yes, you can, yes. You've uh, worked on the process a little bit more. Um, uh, so what I say, uh, net, net established, network, network established. established, view from parlor. Yep. Um, I did it. I killed my older brother. My name is the Colonel. Network established, view from the parlor. Uh, I was reading it in the I was reading it in the colonel's voice. Oh, I get it now. That's, that's what I was doing just then. Uh, Halo over blank, and uh, what was the last bit I had? Love always the colonel. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Eternally uh, yours. Eternally <laughs> yours. <laughs> uh, allies to proceed. <gasps> I don't know what that means. That do not sound like Allies to proceed. <gasps> the monster sea creatures. That's not... That's not what that... Could be... Okay. Well, okay. you're not here. I'm not here. I have to go to the ocean. He could be. <laughs> the actors in the ocean. I'm drinking. Oh, yeah, I'm we dr- were supposed to do that. Oh, yeah. You were in charge of that mission. Okay. Mm-hmm. By now, you're heading into sort of late afternoon, early evening. Because it's been a little bit of time, half an hour for each of these pages just for the treatments, plus, you know, mm. writing, writing times did, and so forth. Did you want to do that thing you promised that you would do? Because I personally don't care if we don't, but you might. What's that? We said we would. I was, I was tell- also going to tell Froth Gay about it. Well, off you go. Yeah. On your bike. You Come on, Kaz. Where, where where are we going? To Froth Gay and then to the shore. To see what's up. Uh, also, uh, also, before leaving like Al's things, like take the, the developed messages. Like, you didn't see. Put them in a safe place. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't see. No, you're cool. You're cool. Just um, just be cool. He's uh, he's just Thank like he's sitting there, like cross-handed, is like, <clears throat> like hold, uh, like just tilts a palm. I mean, you work, you you work for the, what what is this? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll go through. It's my literally pack. a guy like recording every single moment. Yeah, we'll uh, we can happily put a bribe on official record. Sure. I've got a chimera horn. I pull it out of my out of my sack, and I go, "There you go." And he sort of looks down. Is it? Is I've been carrying that around for ages. I don't know what to do with it. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, you can like grind it up and use it for dick pills or something. <laughs> That's Ta-da! why you took it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sorry, Robert Evans. Stole your bit. <laughs> uh, he just like grabs this, like goes up to him with like the sample jar and like pulls the uh, pulls the lid uh, lid off, like drops it, drops it down and like pours some liquid liquid around it, like puts the lid back on top. Oh, he's so happy. Take Let's it go. back out of my equipment. Kes, note in the official log. The alchemist took the bribe. <laughs> and we leave. <laughs> All right, to Hrotha. <clears throat> Sorry. I picked that up when we were at the focus and forgot I had it, and then I saw it in my thing the other day, and I thought, I have a chimera horn for some fucking reason. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. That was before we even started recording this. Yeah. So I gave it to I gave it to my good friend Al, so he will be, be do, do jobs for me in the future, and we can make drugs together. You can pay him in chimera horns. He can teach me how to make blue fantasy meth. Again. And I'll really, be like, really alchemy, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> to Hrotha, to to what did you have to for Hrotha, James? I was just going to tell him about the Thor stuff. Cool, you told him about the Thor stuff. There's <laughs> so nothing we could do there. Just FYI. I'm so sorry to just jump over that, but... No, no, that's... It's literally just repeating the same stuff we've done twice over yeah, already. Yeah. It's just something I said I yep. do. So, yeah, yep. I do that. You have done that thing. Now let's go to the docks. Heading down to the docks directly, or down to the... Yeah. Wherever the Thor guys are near the water. Basically patrolling the entire shore patrolling front. Patrolling the entire and, shore front. Yeah. So, like, we'll just fly over and suss out the situation. How much closer is the dark patch of sea now? Uh, you're going up to height? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll, roll me... Investigation. Dice. Uh, that is five. <laughs> I'm a police You've officer. You've seen it as well, Gaida. You've actually sort of studied it somewhat because you are naturey druidy ways. <laughs> Can I also roll an investigation? Yes, please. <laughs> Your druidy butt. What is this? There we go. There we go. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Look, like, am I having a stroke? Is that actually... no? <laughs> no, that literally the did... actually caught itself. Liter- that literally was a d twenty sitting on its edge in a flat surface. Uh, there's 26. 26. 17 plus 1 plus Okay. Eight. Looking at it? Yes. You yes. can't... You can sort of... You're looking at it. It is... You know, the sun's basically head... Uh, gone down at this point. So you... Ooh, looking... Actually, mm, mm-hmm. Probably should have rolled a disadvantage looking at that stuff before the daylight. Shh. Oh, yeah. Shh. Shh. The sun's setting over the water. Yeah, but we're all rolling back to the bit before. Yeah, so I was just saying, like, yeah. I have to, I, oh. No, it's more of a thing, like, I do have to remember that I do have negatives in daylight. Uh, well, I'm the one who spotted it in the daylight. I pointed it out to him. Yes, but then I, yeah, and then he studied it oh, okay. during daylight. So that should have been, like, a uh, disadvantage on those. So like, oh, look at that. Ow, 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 <laughs> ow, ow. Especially when you're looking towards the, uh, towards the west. You're like, the sun sets oh. in the east. Not in this world, it doesn't. Oh, no. Or, or this world that we live in as well. <laughs> Okay, uh, you look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so look, looking at this uh, shadow across the across the water, it may be the fact that this, it is just darker around because sun go by, um, or that does look like it is almost half the distance. You said sun go by. My watch picked up when I said goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> and I said bye. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> uh, yeah. You, it could have, like, halved the distance than, than, than there was since you were last along and that was only a few hours ago. That's bad. Or it could just be the fact that it's darker out. Now, the impending doom could be closing in quickly. Or could just because it's night time. Interesting. Isn't it? That's definitely something we want to be unclear about. <clears throat> All three of you, give me perception rolls. Speak to the people. Um, 11. 
Eight. One. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> so, so going by our passive perceptions. Which is 20. And 20. <laughs> <laughs> Not with these ones. Well, actually, what you do That's see, fair. what you all do That's see okay. is... There are two different units of um, of hammerheads down the shore fronts, and both of them seem to be engaged in some sort of melee. Sure, they had more than two units. They can sit um, down. Who had the highest out of the three? Uh, mine was yours. 11. Was a one. Pop so it did. Just, I did. Let's not even, not even consider yours. Just pop it. Yours I had eleven. Eleven. Do I still add my? Even though I rolled a one, no. I still add my. Dang it! It's he still nope. beats me. Uh, you did bad. Still got eleven. You see, <laughs> you can. Oh wait, Bad. you have night na- na- vision, dark no? vision. Because like, you get fuck all then. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> to the one now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you see, what you can make out is the, is is the uh, is the site of uh, yeah both unit both units of uh, of hammerheads are engaged in combat. There appears to be some sort of fight down there. Some kind of fracas. Should we suss it out? Well. Well. I am in my pajamas. <laughs> do you sleep in your leathers? Actually, I'm not going to judge. Uh, yes. How else, gonna, how else are you going to suspend yourself? This is from clearly the not time leathers. I am also in my pajamas. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and considering we understand your sleeping arrangements, that's not a good thing. Illusions. <laughs> oh. Leland's always naked. It is a well that's established why, fact. That's why you see, you, you see him get dirty, but you never see his clothes get dirty. Well, you guys have been back Magic. for a couple of days now, and I'm incredibly frustrated. I wouldn't mind taking out that frustration and things that won't increase my sentence. Let's go down to the people. Yay, we'll go fight things that... Yay. Yay. Yay! At least we can drop Hannah off and go away. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, do it. let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's fucking do it. What's going on, right? Paint us a fucking word picture. Paint us a motherfucking bullshit word picture. You... We go down to the place. You go down to the place. We go to the place. Go to the place with the thing and the stuff and the place... Okay, as you approach the, say, the Southern the Southern Mora uh, unit, you see them sort of in, fighting against the, like a, a menagerie of odd-looking sea life. You see bipedal fish creatures. Uh, you, you see the, sort of, the... The shapes of black or oily looking tentacles lashing out from the surf and just like plucking up um, like individual hammerheads and like dragging them into into the water. Nope. Whee! That's a problem. Uh, at one point, you guys have actually seen a chul, haven't you? A what? Sorry. A chul. Is a, a basically it looks like a. Large a lobster creature, like sort of. Lobster sure, I saw the squitchy. On... Sorry. Sure, I saw the squitchy. <laughs> uh, I think back when you guys went to the gnome village first time around, you fought a jewel. When we when we closed the dark portal. Oh. Ah. But this looks that ish. That little, but but it looks looks more like a lobster or a crayfish has been Godzillaized. It is large. It is it slightly be. malformed. It's got. Uh, you is see, it like badly tempered. <laughs> it is ill tempered. Um, but yeah, you can basically it's like amongst its like a normal carapace. You see these. Well, I say normal. It is an extreme size for a lobster thing. Um, but you see like these spines of like this black crystal line sort of thing coming out of the carapace. Cool. And it's just sort of waving out of the surface, just like, yeah, cutting through. Let's go. Step, step, hey step. ho, let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Hey ho. I don't know. What do you want to do? 
Do, do these things appear to be shooting things at ranged? So, oh. throwing like spears or harpoons and I don't like that. As we get close, like around you know, hundred and mm, nah, I wouldn't do that. What about? It? Let's get close. A hundred feet away. Feet. I, I forgot who I was. Go! I'll get close and cast dancing light before I light to my allies. And we're like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? You helpful? Well, there's more light. There is the hardest for me to hide. There are like the reason why you can spot these uh, melees versus everything else that you guys missed with your woeful rolls is the fact that there are people with torches within the uh, within the melee. Yeah. Like you, it is. Hey, you're flying the carpet. What are you yes. doing? Um. On Moving your carpet. Closer into spell range. Because I'm magical. Alright. And I don't want to get close to those tentacles. Um, so if we can fly to be 60 feet away from it. Because mm-hmm. let's get 60 feet. I will throw a dissonant whispers at it. Okay. I'm casting magic. At, at what? At... Um, at who? So there's a lobster thing and there's a tentacle. Yep. Let's go with the tentacle. 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 Sure. I've seen this movie. It I'm doesn't end well a, for the Japanese I'm whispering girl. at the tentacle. Okay. You're getting, you're like getting, you're getting your offensive tentacle. ASMR on him. Yes. Like... <laughs> Today we're going to attack this lobster okay. creature. What does what do I need to do to uh, wisdom saving throw? Please. Wisdom saving throw. What's the AC? Seventeen. The uh, it fails. It oh wait, no, it doesn't. No, so it very much passes. He was not prepared for this. Oh, there we go. Dash is just mean. All right, I looked at the wrong line. How high up above the surface we're, are we? Well, we were sixty feet away, so. Trigonometry, some kind of. We're not sixty feet from the surface because it would have been at an angle, but I don't know, like 20, 30 okay. feet up. Are you gonna land? Sure, if you want. Um, you. Still I mean, I don't want anything. To, I don't. I don't want anything to do with this. Let's be clear. Uh, so I don't want the, anything to do with this. I just have to sort out damage on the tentacle because it's. I mean, I'll shoot half. things. Okay. Boy, season. howdy, I'll shoot things. Uh, five, eight, eight uh, 14 is seven. Just feels weird that Ryan hasn't told us to roll initiative yet, is all I'm saying. Oh, no, you'll be doing Let's that take now. advantage of it then, shall we? I land the carpet because these people want to get close. I don't. Look, look, I want to be clear. I don't want to get close. You want to stay on the carpet? We'll just drop a pen now. So, let's go so All dropping right. Hannah off I got an initiative of 10 I'll just jump down when you get a little bit close to the thing I also got an initiative of so 10 Leland got a 10 I have a 10 I rolled a 10 I will I will unload on the back of the carpet and I will be moving away from That's fair. the thing alright I would like to remain on my carpet Okay, and a whole so new world you see, eyes. there is this uh, shiny, shimmering, splendid. There is a small cluster, uh, like a a triumvirate, I guess, of uh, three of these fish people that are sort of standing back. Um, fish, fish people. Like I said, uh, bipedal fish. <laughs> yeah, actually, a murloc would be a pretty. What are they doing? You got my Murloc impersonation. I'm I'm proud. Okay, kill the war chief. You see assassin deployed. You see one of them, um, like hold a hand, like a hold a hand up, and like this green light sort of lights up at it. Oh, it's and, a shaman. Um, and I should roll an actual dice. Uh, okay, you 
you see Lily like hold this light of this this green light sort of lights up around its hands and then uh you see like little auras of green light up around several of the other combatants around the um around the field um around some of the the enemies and they just get sort what, of air enemies or their enemies uh okay the, some of the other fish people okay and you see them sort of like glow with this green light and it's almost like they're sort of reinvigorated or some of their wounds close up <gasps> okay I know what I have to do now I run <laughs> <laughs> leave this city to burn <laughs> I'll help uh, you see another one sort of hold a hand out and this like this from beneath one of the other uh, the hammer heads you just see this burst of like it looks kind of like flame but but more like steam cool uh, just, like burst out burst out of the ground and, and like scorch up the, the other side of this uh, this hammerhead's armor like he's still going but it's oof yeah that's a that's a big it's oof a, it's, it's a bad one uh confirmed one oof and you see another one just sort of like holding both hands out um he's got this sort of like blue glow around his hands and he's sort of like holding them out building power up and then sort of starts bringing him down towards the towards the ground and just like holding him holding him there and just like channeling something into the ground cool alright Hannah how far away are those people uh, the far side of the combat, sort of. How far okay. is that? You got the actual the the combat on ground. Um, then you've got about thirty feet to where those guys are, and about another ten feet behind them is the water line. And in the within the water line is the swirling mass of tentacles. Don't go in the water. Go in the water. Oh, no, I want you to promise me you won't go in that water. Hey, <laughs> you promised me, boy. You've got to live for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slowly, well, slowly make it towards, but I guess kind of like start random as I'm like lots of lots of to kind of go through. I guess kind of head towards them mm-hmm. as, as possible, but occasionally like more well, digging rope right into one of them. Sea creatures floating around as I head towards them. All right. Uh, what are you going to try and sink a, sink a knife into on the way? Uh, what we is, have rules for how this works. Yes, it's like that's how combat is. I'm saying that's how I'm getting there. Like kind of like running and going stab and yep, disengaging, just carrying forward. Um, I guess what's the closest enemy? Uh, you have options of some of the some of the fish folk, uh, or you could try and go a little bit further over to get the lobster thing. I'll go for the lobster thing. Lobster thing? Yeah. Lobster. All right. And Roll. Uh, I'm assuming that's engaged in combat with the people? Yes. Excellent. Now, I haven't actually rolled combat in a while, so I don't know. <laughs> also, you're acting before the lobster. Yes. Excellent. Get a crit. Just roll a crit. I did not. I oh, know. Uh, it's 21 oh. a hit. Yes. Make me sick. I know. I need that dust to live. Ironically, you're going to kill with it. Is that ironic? It is ironic. Don't you think? A little bit ironic. Uh, A little too ironic. I really do think. What are we doing? (laughs) We're doing a song in spoken word. That's nowhere near as well as William Shatner does it. 27 points of damage. 27 points of damage. And I'll slice them again. Uh, that's uh, blah, 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 blah. 28. That is 8 points of damage. Alright. You basically go through and you're like sliding through and like just basically raking blades across the uh, the the legs, essentially, on the one side. And, you know, you... You cut through the carapace at one at one point. You start seeing some of like this oily, brackish liquid just start to sort of ooze out of the wounds. Cool, job's done. Job's done. 
Uh, all right. The you see like this swirling mass of tentacles, sort of like sort of, wow, one, uh, just basically like milling around each other. Um, then one sort of like reaches out, grabs hold of one of the hammerheads, and just like holds him up, and just like flings him like into the distance. We can warn the others. Yeet. <laughs> The technical term is yeet, Ryan. <laughs> you got yeeted. Alright, let's see how much he's going to survive that. I'm going to need roll some of these dice twice. Oh boy. What spells have I got? Have I got any good spells? Have I got any good spells? God, I hope so. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Do I hate to be in your shoes right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, another another tentacle reaches out, grabs hold of. Oh, I probably that's wrong. One. Yep. Uh, sort of picks another hammerhead up by the by their weapon arm. Um, and a third tentacle sort of reaches out, grabs him by the uh, right leg, and they together they basically just like pull him mm. asunder. Gross. Um, you, you hear like the sickening pop as his shoulder snaps out, it snaps out a joint, and then it's like tearing as like flesh is torn from his body, and he is ripped into two. Nice. Ah. Uh, who's got the higher dex out of you two? Or the, yeah. Me. Dexterity. Definitely me. I think it's me. 18. You're up next. Oh. Why don't you believe me, Ryan? Because <laughs> I asked. <laughs> and then actually thought about the question I was asking. <laughs> the wizard or the monk? Why does no one trust what I say? Um... <laughs> because we have dealt with your character before. So the Eric. tentacles passed to 17 wisdom before. Yep. That's annoying. That's yep. All I, that's all I've got. That's, that seems real annoying. That's all I have for range. Oh, no. Who oh, no. Um. And Goid is currently fighting the lobster. Lobster. Dun, 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 dun. It's not a rock. It's the worst. It's a rock. I... Lobster. lobster. Ah, no, at the moment I'm just going to try to whisper at the tentacle again. Hey, tentacle, I'm going to get up inside you. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I whisper at the tentacle. All right. Please make a saving throw. Wisdom. I certainly did. Damn it. That, might, that total is 28. This thing's really wise. It's got a really good save. Damn. Maybe I should stop doing this. Oh well. That's a four. That's a three. That makes seven. Eight is four points of damage. I have something. That, yep, you're right. That is uh, definitely something. <laughs> <laughs> and with my bonus, maybe um, I'll just fly down towards the ground and back away a little bit from it. All right, Leland. Hi. Um,. Those three fish people. Yep. How far away are they from each other? Uh, only like five feet of what? Okay. How far away are they from? Are they like sort of separate from the whole melee? Yes. So they are not in combat with no. any of our friends. Not yet. Uh, it, would a twenty foot bubble encompass like them and the the lobster or? Uh, I think I said there's about 30 feet between the melee and... Okay. So, no, you, you better get those three. I'm, I'm concerned about those three magic fish murloc men that you were discussing doing magic before. Uh, how f so, would I be 60 feet away from them? Uh, thereabouts, yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to cast a magical spell at them. Yep. I'm going to place a 20-foot sphere upon their asses. <laughs> yep. What about the rest of them? Uh, well, unless they've got really big asses, I think it's going <laughs> to encompass them. I don't know how big a fish's ass is, but, you know. Uh, 
So I, uh, holding Roderick in one hand, I place my other hand up to my temple, and Mm -hmm. sparks start forming around my head. Oh, this is like that psionic storm. Synaptic static. Synaptic static. Uh, causing like a, like a, just a, an orb to form around them. And, uh, I'm picturing it like, it sort of like bubbles out and then sort of zooms down, making smaller orbs around their heads. Cool. I like the imagery. Uh, is there some sort of save in this? No, they just die. <laughs> Oh, all right. Would you like to try again? (laughs) I'm happy with that. Uh, It is a int int 19 saving throw. Hachi machi. Hachi machi. First one fails. Second one passes. Mm. Third one fails. Second one is the one that was channeling onto the ground. That was the one I wanted to get. Yeah, I figured. All right, so they take 8d6 psychic damage and half on a failed save. Okay, so six, eleven, mm-hmm. twelve, seventeen, twenty-two, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty-two. Thirty-two. And so half on the other dude, and the ones who failed. Uh, dis- is, uh, they are muddled. Uh, they subtract a d6 from any attack rolls and ability checks they make. Oh, dang. And constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. And they make an intelligence save at the end of their turns. I do that, and then I sort of scarper back. <laughs> Okay. All right. You are scarpering back. Yes. Oh, I used a spell slot to do that cool thing that I just did. How cool is that thing? That is real cool. I attacked their brains with magic. Okay. It was psychic damage, if that makes any Uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it. Okay. You see this little squadron of like three of these of these fish folk, sort of start like wheeling around. They they break from what they were uh, what they were doing, and come uh, come come charging around to you. What did I do? This racist. Uh, you see, none of them seem to be armed with anything. Nice! Except for their arms and face and stuff. That's redundant. They're of course, they're arms. armed with their arms. That's what armed means. They're mermaids. Uh, you, uh, basically, they as they get closer up to you, you see they've sort of got the whole flattened profile. Uh, they've got, like, teeth, a uh, mouthful of, like, sharp-edged teeth. Um, <laughs> uh, they're all going to try and bite you. What is your AC? Rude. 20. Uh, one of them hits. Rude. These are the ones that I psychic? No. Oh, there's more. Uh, six damage, piercing. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no, that, that's me gone. I should have had a long rest. It was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and now they're sort of like, sort of bitten at you. They sort of uh, like rear back up again mm. and actually sort of take up like fighting poses with their hands and try and punch you. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What the fuck is happening? This thing? All three hit. One of them's a crit. You're getting brutalized by fish. You always did hate that big blue wet thing. There we go. So, all three of them hit with bludgeoning damage. Uh, mm-hmm. That is 8, 12, 
19 damage just from the punches. Yep. That the crit punch as well. Oh, wait. Uh, Why'd you ask? Because I'm halving, uh, that, I'm halving that attack. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Can you use a reaction to half something? Like a, like a cool rogue. Yeah. Uh, that would make it 16 all up. It was worthwhile asking. It was. No. You know what you're doing. I'm just a jackass. <laughs> okay, so the, the two non-crit ones, uh, you feel like a surge of electricity pass through you uh, with these punches as well. Nice! So you get like eight damage from the, uh, oh, that's not, that's from, the from the two that, uh, bad. that didn't reduce it. And it's just halved as well because of the thing. Uh, three damage from the the one that you that got the crit. Yep. That's including the half. And they all take it like a fighting pose. Hit you again. Hey, do something. Fucking do something. Uh, that's not something. That's that's <laughs> that's quite literally nothing. Uh, only one hits. Uh, and again, the, the bludgeoning damage does three, and lightning damage does four, so seven damage all up. Mm -hmm. My tank is dying. Your tank's <laughs> broke. Yeah, this is what the fuck you need to help. Uh, meanwhile, there are just like little groups and clusters of fighting happening amongst the hammerheads, uh, and basically masses of these dudes. The chul, well, sorry, not the chul, the lobster. That's the thing I've described. As a chul. Uh, chul. Chul story. Chul story indeed. It is also going to swipe at you, sir. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. First attack with a claw. Uh, 23 to hit. Yeah. Nah. Oh. Ryan, what are you doing? And five, nine, eleven damage. Mm -hmm. Second one uh, also hits with a twenty-one and does ooh sixteen damage. Mm -hmm. It is done. Cool. How are you doing? Uh, I'm about to die. Cool. Well, um, don't. Back, back, back to the top. The... Don't die. I'm trying not to, but all of a sudden... All of a sudden. focused. <laughs> Maybe okay. this is like in Final Fantasy, where you're supposed to lose the fight. Ah. Yeah, yep. Okay. I like the hammer. Uh, the, 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 the magical three. Uh, oh, I didn't skip over you, did I? No, he sung up the tentacle. That's right, he did too. I had a I'm space. on whatever timing Leland's on. We're both tens. Yeah, yeah that's right. I, I got I had a momentary worry that I skipped. You, I mean, you spent again. so long brutalizing Goiti, you forgot where we were in the combat. <laughs> I'll go again. That's... You see one sort of like hold the hand out like they're they're holding onto a weapon, and you see about thirty feet in front of them, this weapon materialize. It's a cleric. A Next cleric to cleric with a spiritual weapon. And it takes a strike. What's the spiritual weapon? Uh, it looks like a like a like a hooked gaff. Oh, sorry, oh. a gaff hook. It's, a, it's like a long spiked fishing hook. Okay. It could have made any weapon it wanted and chose that. You're still up in the air, aren't you? Uh, does twenty two hit you? No. Yes. Yeah. And does eight points of damage. Stupid clerics. The the one on the 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 left hand side of them, um, basically like puts the hands together like this, and then like throws them up in the air, and you just see like these sparks of power going around out in like an orb around them, and then this. Essentially, they sort of like coalesce into these shapes that look like um, like swordfish and piranha and everything, sort of swimming, swimming through the area around uh, around them. Mm -hmm. They're made of like this you silvery turn, light. You in there, you the third one that was channeling against the ground uh, continues to do so. Uh, if all three of you can roll me perception, 
Did 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 he deduct a d6 from his attack roll on James before? I deducted two from it. So 20 still yeah. hits. Sorry. Uh, my He's perception muddled. is 13. 13? Perception? Yes, please. I rolled a 20. 20? Oh, don't worry about me. No? No, you're not. You're not, not I rolled a 1. Oh, okay. Uh, you mm. sort of, especially especially you, because you can actually sort of purvey this scene a little bit, where he's getting hit by a gaffing hook, he's getting hit by everything else. And I was else. looking at those guys, and you're I, looking at those guys. You can see the ocean behind, so it's just start to raise up, like, like a wall of water. Yeah. It's ever so slowly, just like just building up and up and up. It's yeah. probably Pumping probably a good six to ten world. feet higher than it was. A round or so ago. Can I talk or do I need to wait for my turn? You can say something. Hey, we should get the fuck out of here. They're, they're gonna they're gonna crash a, a a wave on us. Hey, we should fu- we should we should. Hey guys, hey hey guys, we should go. I'm on the flying carpet. I'm right here. You can hop on. Uh, Hannah, it is yours. Cool. Uh, well, so you guys not near you on the ground, aren't you? I'm like near the hovering near. The- <coughs> and I'm further back. Cool. I am going to shoot my crossbow <laughs> into Poppet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm aware. Oh, that's the hundred percent. This isn't the first or the last idea. time. Not the first time. Not going to be the last. Into a cool thing. Why would he ever do a cool thing? Well, you can. Oh, I can catch it. Yeah. But then does it still work? Or? You just basically catch it and you can drag and drop it or throw it back at me. It's like, <laughs> not till I frag myself. But, nope. <laughs> you throw your crossbow, you have to hit something. Well, I'll go with the bolt oh, go, so I'm yeah. aiming at you because you're on, oh, the, so I can just, on the thing. Cool. Yeah. So I don't have to get be impelled by it. Uh, I think you, he has to miss for you to be able to catch it, though. No. 16, is that damage. it? It no. just has if to, you sorry? reduce the damage, 16, no. is that it? No, it doesn't. Okay. That said, it does go sailing past him. I, go, sort of I like, teleport where that yeah. where, where they went. So essentially, the the bolt goes. What's the maximum range on your crossbow? Uh, one hundred and twenty, I believe. Okay, it, it's got thirty, then bracket one hundred and twenty. One hundred twenty is your maximum range. Uh, okay. So you sort of fire this thing. You it's just sort of got, it sails probably about. Four or five feet to the to the right of Poppet, and just a sort of outside. Well, he only of the... missed by one. Okay, two or three feet to the side of Poppet, and Poppet doesn't quite uh quite get his hand to it, uh, but he just sort of like follows that arc, just goes over the top of the combat, and you're like, fuck it, yeah. and you basically disappear and reappear about what's that, ninety feet behind the combat at that point. Cool. Sort of up, up a little bit of a bit of a sand dune. Yeah, excellent. As a bonus action, I, I will. I think con- the teleport's a bonus action. Oh, it is too. Sorry, you're right. Well, it's my turn then. You can move. Run away! Run away! How you can also ca- yell. How high is the carpet? Sorry. How high is the carpet? Uh, it's probably just a couple of feet off the ground, hovering. Okay. How far away from the carpet? Uh. I wouldn't have been far from the front lines because the guy did the yep. spiritual weapon on me. Yeah, yeah, and that's thirty feet. I yeah, think. so you're not far from the uh, from the front lines. No, so I, probably... I can't. I can't even be that close. How far to that hammerhead place? Miles. Okay. Hide behind a building. Why not? I hide. <laughs> Uh, it's 60 feet for a spiritual weapon. Oh, 60. So, okay. yeah, you're basically sort of... Uh, about 60 feet away from it. Let's let the army mm. deal with this. Run. Yep. <laughs> yep. we we'll get some more fighting people. All right. Tentacles. Um, with this, in this raising water, you can sort of see this... Um, the see the 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 water sort of raises up and you can sort of see the the shadow of where the the tentacles are coming from 
you see this great sort of like toothy maw sort of raising up out of this wall of water um, where all the sort of the tentacles converge converge into um, uh, it sort of raises itself out of the actual water and, and breaking the breaking the water to the, the, the surface of the water um, within the mouth you can see so that these sparks are jumping from tooth to tooth um, and then they're sort of increasing in in um, in in regularity um, to the point where like all of a sudden you see like these rings of like charging electricity coming from the mouth why why though <laughs> Why, why, why does it do that, Ryan? What, what possible reason? What kind of god would allow this? Okay, pop it. Yes. Yes. Uh, you're further back. Yes. Yeah, if you can give me a, a dexterity save, please. That's for you're a Viking. Uh, twenty. That's a fail. Excuse you? The DC was 23. Ouch. I like electric krakens. It's the name of my ska band. Electric krakens. I was thinking of the ska band joke today on the drive home. <laughs> In specific reference to the electric krakens? Uh, no, no, admittedly no. Uh, no, it's because... Um, Robert Evans mentioned it on the Behind the Bastards thing that I was listening to, talking about his Scar Band. I'm enjoying that thing. Thank you, Mr. Goida, for putting me onto that one. What one? Behind the Bastards. All right. Uh, Pop it. You yes. get shocked with... What is that? 10, 12, 20 points of lightning damage. Is this a ranged weapon attack? Uh, it is not. Damn it. So I take 20. It is, uh... All I did was whisper lovingly at the tentacles. Uh, but yeah, you see, like, two other hammerheads that are sort of near-ish to you. Uh, each also gets struck by, by one of these bolts. Uh, one of them is just, metal. like cooked within the, both of them are essentially cooked within their yes. metal armor yes uh pop it it is this is a bit beyond turn. my level so so we're going to get the hammerheads we should run away so because we're on the same initiative order could I swoop past Leland and he'd jump onto the carpet you can do it I fly towards Leland and keep slow down enough if he wishes to jump on can I do something before I jump on sure we're on the same you guys are on the same yeah. initiative order if it, was, if it was any other situation I'd say no yeah but this is uh, literally... I want to unload like some eldritch blasts into one of those fishmen before just I just while I'm off. moving towards you on the carpet yeah, yeah. I'm going to unload three eldritch blasts in the one that that spat out the green the green spell Yep. The one that is clearly the cleric. I'm going to spit out three Eldritch Blasts at him, or like five Eldritch Blasts at him and see what happens. Yep. So, so first one is uh, 19. 19, definitely hits. That's a d10 plus five. That's 11 damage. Yep. You get three of these now, don't you? I do. Ooh. Second one is a 18. Yep. That's a 12 damage. And the third one is an 18 again. Yep. And that is 15 damage. That's a lot of damage. You're bad for a cantrip. It's my main attack. It's your fucking cantrip. I can choose to push them back with that, but since they're on the water's edge, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to put them back into the preferred terrain? Look decisions were made <laughs> uh, and then probably I'll, the right ones and then I will uh, like like hop on hop yep. on hop and on a magic carpet we'll ride to a whole new world and today close your eyes and then I'll use my action to dash yep Whee! Whee! towards wherever Hannah went okay 
so the cargo can move a total of 180, uh, 160 feet. Okay. You guys are essentially clear of the combat now. We're going to go um, get the hammerheads. You, you need a power aid. Raise the yeah. alarm. Um, you yep. basically get up on the carpet and start basically making altitude. I will um, use a, while we're doing that, I'm going to use a bonus action to heal 2d8 damage. Shall I get a potion? No. I'm using a wild shape. But I can use a wild shape. I've got combat wild shape. As a bonus action, I can expand one spell slot to gain 1d8 HP per level of the spell slot. Expanded. Druids. Druids. Cool. I mean, no one else healing is yourself heal from your your animal magnetism, like 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 shape shifting the wounds close. Yeah, no, that's yeah. A, it's, a, it's a good image. I yeah. like that. Okay, Sorry. what you see with hey, the combat has the combat up, um, so. down below is that um, that wall of water raises higher and higher, and then just it's not rolling forwards or backwards. It just like drops mm-hmm. on top of the the melee engagement. Um, you see, like, um, this this platoon of hammerheads is like smashed against some of the uh, the rocks on the um, on, along the shore. Uh, some of them are just like pulled back out into the into the ocean, essentially into the moor of Tentacles. Um, it, it's okay. a it's a bad scene. It's 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 a it's a landing scene in Saving Private Ryan. It's a bad beach to be on this evening this is fucked Ryan um as the water sort of recedes back to its normal position you see that large lobster lobster creature with somewhere between sort of six and ten of those fish folk sort of like up mounted against against its um upper carapace and just like marching towards the city it's an invasion ding dong <laughs> but I think with that we'll uh I was gonna do that <laughs> we'll leave the rest for when you get back I guess. Uh, yeah so I can do the 13th and if you like that mess you can find more of our junk on iTunes Spotify Stitcher and YouTube or contact us at isolatedcitygaming at gmail.com <laughs>